Hello, hello. It's finally time for the final send-off for this world. Let's see. I already have eight people here. Very nice, very nice. Actual server. Hi. Did you just launch the Ballers Run server as the open house server? No. I made two copies of it and uh, launched those. I just recycled the IP. Mm. I was going to say, because you, last time we had like a separate open house IP. Yeah, I have that oh, as well, but that's for like the secondary server. I have prepared right, two instances just so we can scale the capacity if needed. Bro asks, is the base viewable without shaders? Question mark. And I say, yeah, it's viewable. Yeah. I don't look like shit. <laughs> and then he goes, I'm just here for the tech lol. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so you need shaders to look at the tech. That's definitely how it works. Oof, hard style. Oh, no. But, uh, I think people might have FTBU uh, on the wrong version. Yeah, that's going to be a that... big issue, I think. We had to have oh, like yeah. FTBU installed, otherwise the area would not be like loaded at all. Unfortunately, that means people cannot be everything. joining here if they have the wrong version. You should put that in the announcement, maybe. Like, do a ping oh, at everyone. Right now, are already still on. Oh, no, just, but just there you go. But just people who go to join in the future and have that same issue. See, so you're gonna get people asking you permanently. It's like for the yeah. next like two hours. Like I'm uh -oh. joining and I keep getting kicked. Right. No, actually, will it tell you in the uh, in the disconnect just, message that it, that's yes? The... It, it has no oh, okay, conflict. So... Oh, okay, that's fine then. Will your stream load for me? I had issues. I feel like my though. Minecraft instance might have too little RAM. Why? <laughs> because it just kind of stops. Issues? Yeah, it just stops for like minutes at a time. Aren't you running Graal, Java, Java, which fixes that? I don't know. Uh, this is slightly different instance that I use normally. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this is, is like this the Graal oh. community. Wow, good timing. Okay, uh, that means I'm gonna have to restart the game, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this is just dead. Okay. Uh, give me a bit here. <laughs> good start. So I am using Graal. I think I should give more memory to it. I'm just copy the settings from here. Are we still gonna do the thing, Samso, with the Stargate? Thing? What the, the hell? thing the thing we planned yes sweet all right i'll really um, set it up oh no <laughs> technical issues very useful uh -oh. um it doesn't matter if you have or like the best is to not have either of them uh because the ftbu uh, version has to not match exactly so just remove ftbu temporarily yeah that's weird though i haven't had the game crash like this before. Okay, what's the problem? Oh man, I still have like a bunch of... Oh! Ah! Journey map has the... Okay, I'm just gonna remove journey map, I think. Actually, I'm gonna switch oh, to... Oh, is it the... Because the... Yeah, um, it's, it's the bug where you... Image. Like, it, it cannot get the image, and it just fails. Ah. One moment. Go grab the download folder. Wait. Which version of FTBU are you using? Just remove no, it. Well, any other any ones you have that really need it yourself? No, no, I need it. Oh, you don't? Four. Oh. Oh, there you go. That should fix it. I need to kill turn map. I think you only need to kill it if you are using the unlimited version. Um the um normal version should work fine. In like the vanilla 2.5.1 instance. I tried to download the CurseForge version and only downloaded 25 mods. That's because we have so many custom mods that the CurseForge only has like a mod downloader. So the first time you run the um, instance, it will download all the mods you need from our like own servers. Oh, great. Uh, no, oh. not instance. My instance broke. <laughs> oh, dear. We're using point. Oh, point nineteen, correct? I see. I think. Oh my that's, god, all these people. Was, was in my... <laughs> I'm going to be here stuck, not being able to open the thing. Hooray. To somehow I have time to relaunch find... my game as well. Yeah. 
Oh my god, the amount of people leaving the game. <laughs> this is hilarious. Why are they leaving? Uh, oh, we got As ah, in, like, people leaving before they even join. Like, it just instantly says they left. I even see Glow Red Man. At the issue. <laughs> Hilarious. Ah, yes. Thank you for delaying open house until a reasonable time, by the way. No worries. What time is it for you right now, Rubix? 7.55 in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's rough, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's um, 6 a.m. for Len, which is even worse. Ooh. Is he going to get up and do it or not? No, he cannot be asked to be up at 6 a.m. But even just temporarily to say hi and then go back to sleep. <laughs> Actually, don't know how to fix this now. Uh, I still absolutely not. There it is. Okay, so I need to open comment prompt. Access is it? What? Oh, I need to run this as administrator. Uh... There. That was being it's four skill job up to be able to launch the game. Good stuff. Now let's see if my computer can launch the pack in five minutes so I can actually open the Stargate in time. <laughs> Surely. It usually takes longer than that. And <laughs> because I did a fucked up install, I won't have any of the loading screens either. Oh no. It's scuffed. So much scuffed. Oh well. Also, apparently the map doesn't work either, so... <laughs> Everything is breaking. Classic. <laughs> Why is your background that missing texture? Because I only copied the mods folder to my like old instance. Um, so... Yeah. Oh. Wait, that's... I cop they didn't con copy the config folder? Only copy the mod to see how that works. Mm. Okay, so we can watch at uh and watch at images. Here. Beautiful. <laughs> That's my loading screen now. Wait, three minutes until I'm supposed to open the gate. Oh well, it'll take a moment. Yeah. Hmm, where did I didn't have the issue with the turning map on the main server? I'm pretty sure I used the unlimited version as well. Why should I get a nano booster? No, I have a Magnodon. Well, there's so many people. Yeah. Oh no, and I can't even see it. Oh no. <laughs> what if the server's gonna be so full I cannot get in myself? That'd be really funny. Visitor log. What's this doing? 80%. It's gonna be like a few more minutes. I'm gonna be a few minutes late, I think. Like from my own open house. What is this? Technical scuff is unavoidable. Why is there such a ridiculous amount of gravy suit stuff laying on the floor? Because there's an infinite dispenser for it. <laughs> Why is it down here? <laughs> yes. So did you actually end up making the annotated uh, DIN map, Samsung? No, I forgot. 
Oh, so people are going to be actually lost then. They're not going to know yeah, where anything is. Probably. Also, I did my piss down with right now as well. I don't, I'm not oh sure how to fix that. Oh my god. It's actually scuffed. Ooh, trust scuff. Does well, auto-crafting work? I'm assuming it does. It does. Uh, it does, but people cannot you can't order it. push it out of the IE system. Only I am able to order things right now. Only you? Oh, what the fuck? You, wait, yeah, did because you take have... out the security card? No, we only had a security card for like generic stuff, so everybody could do it, but I just took away the perm, so only the owner of the security terminal can do anything now, which is me. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to pull some shit of the MA system, but then, uh... Oh, wait. I wonder if the mining laser still bypasses the <laughs> grief protection. Holy hell, my... The, the server console is going absolutely wild. Well, so many connections. Like 50 people joining. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> imagine if you're running your auto updater for all these people. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, come on, computer. I believe in you. That's not me. In. <laughs> me into my yeah, own there's server. so many quantum suit people. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at these oh, scrubs no. and regular quantum suits. Uh, why is this stuff taking so long? There we go. I mean, um, we just gotta throw the sword of the cosmos and see what happens. <laughs> see who gets it. <laughs> I'm watching PvP. Oh, no. 37 people and I haven't even opened the gates yet? Holy shit. It's insane. Uh, Are you officially done with the bonus run and this open house, or is there still cleanup you want to do? Uh, I think we're done. We don't really have any motivation to build anymore now that like we have no nothing tech wise to look for but still so probably There's won't be returning chat here. that I can kill. Alright, I am already one minute late. Time to open the targets. Wait, hold on. Let me uh let me go to the other side. Watch everyone flood out. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Holy shit. That's a lot of people. Oh I wanna see that as well. Yeah, come come uh, to the other end of the Stargate. <laughs> See right, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, game. Oh, people's quantum suit isn't charging fast enough because there's not enough wireless charges. <laughs> game. Uh, hey, Dylan, you might be the one who needs to open the Stargate. Um, my uh, client yeah. is just dead. You want me to go? Okay, Rubik, don't, 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 don't. No, 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 no. Um, no, no, so no, you'll no. have to turn on the computer. That's all you have to do. Okay. Yeah, we just leave it. Really. Act, okay, I think I'm just going to have to remove my... Um, remove my turning map because this just crashes my PC or the, the game all the time. Uh, that's You're unfortunate. Map? All right, do you want me to go so computer? Yeah, so the computer uh, is access accessible from behind the Stargate. Oh, right, okay. It's like outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see. just turn it on and it'll yeah. it'll do the rest. Also, this is really unfortunate. <laughs> you know. Okay, it starts crashing now. Uh, turn on. Huh. Uh, How long months. until somebody blows up an active transformer? Oh, because I, I installed the turning map to the wrong mods folder. Uh. Am I dumb? Skill oh my god, these issue. people are flooding the screen. All right. Did you manage to open up the thing? I mean, I, I turned on the computer. It still says booting, initializing system. All right. Wow. Oh, here we go. Open OS 1.8.3. I'm going to be on my own server for the start of the open house. Ah, this is unfortunate. I'm going to uh, miss the opening now. It just says, it's got like a box and it says open OS 1.8.3 2048k RAM. Most programs can be interrupted by pressing control. I'll see. Wait, what? Uh, can I show oh, my here we go. Yep, I can oh, do okay. it. Okay, it took a while. Yeah, it took a while to start. Right. Oh, here we go. It's connecting. Oh. Everyone's, gonna, everyone's standing inside. And Wait, share your, share your screen. I want to see it. Kind of oh, scuffed, yeah, okay. but that. Yeah. Uh, I'll share my screen from the other side. All right, it's going to be a bit scuffed for now, but. Uh... What? It stopped connecting? <laughs> oh no! So many people. It's so laggy. Wait, oh, actually, 0.14 TPS. Oh, 
Wait, really? Oh, the, the TPS is Is dead. it really that bad? Oh, no. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you do extra TPS? Also, I yeah, think... Uh, I'm actually not sure what happens when you take it multiple times. I'm trying to press it, but it's like, oh, my lord. Is the TPS actually like zero? I don't know. What's the command? Slash... XC underscore TPS. Uh, underscore TPS. We're in the red. Thanks to me. Oh no. Holy. What are the three numbers? Oh mean? god. Okay. It's like three. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, should have made. I think people keep pressing it. And they keep fucking it up. Yeah. Uh, but, um, but the problem is, I can't. Like, did you make it so that only registered users can click this screen? No, everyone, everybody can click it. Oh well, that's yeah. that's of course that's why it's gonna be fucked then. Yeah. <laughs> you keep spamming it. It's broken. You might want to. Open up a hole in the wall. <laughs> um, Open up a hole. Oh, wall? oh, oh, it's doing something. No, it was spinning. But yeah. people press it again. Ah, stop! Nobody's gonna get through if they do that. <laughs> yeah, oh I actually God. don't know what happens if you try to. Yeah, it might reset the progress every time. Yeah, it probably does. That's, that's uh, do my I? Part. I mean, the one on the other people. side is that three out of TVP is off. I can't even. I can't even sort of the cosmos. You anymore. could oh, just it's, open it's up a hole. Oh, oh my lord! It might just be the TPS being absolute dog shit. Okay, can I just like turn off the computer and launch it manually for now? <laughs> uh, well, you're gonna need the address. Oh fuck! I don't have the address. Unless well, you just oh. open up a hole in the wall, it's fine at this point. A hole? Okay, fine. Yeah. I have the address. And the other Stargate is opening. Is my Minecraft launch yet? Nope. <laughs> I just left a hole. I've just done a hole in the wall here. Are you in creative mode? Oh, God. Yeah, of course. It takes like 15 seconds. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> How long until the server crashes? What do you think? Not long. I give it ten minutes max. Mm. <laughs> Star Fox, fifty-four people. It's so over. It is Jova. It's Jova. How to do diagonal slides mo move? What? The dispensers are empty and the pipes are not connected? Oh no, somebody disconnected what? pipes. I think you can maybe edit the pipes. Uh, oh yeah, you Oh can. shit, yeah, someone... Uh... <laughs> oh, you... Who did that? How? How do you Actual... reach... Oh, because the magic pencil happen. doesn't stop like... Yeah. Oh, there's like... <laughs> I need Dude, that for cost for that. Trolling. I'll come fix it. Yeah. I can't even like... Uh... Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah. Okay, let me uh come you do should go just wrench it, I think. Except if you don't have a wrench on your yourself and um you Oh I can just spawn one in. That's okay. Ah, that's true. You have to wrench. Except I'm fucking lagging. Yeah, I think you're the only one. Holy moly. <laughs> the server is not like You think like I'm this. the only one? We're no, gonna get all of the chunks in our base. Constantly being sent to every player. Yeah. It's gonna be. I'm in cheap. How long until see. somebody blows up, figures the way to blow up on AT? I was saying that earlier, and it's not gonna take long. Oh, actually, can you disable rain somehow? Slash game. Disable rule, rain? New weather cycle. Yeah. If you wanna be a game rule. Slash... Do, you have, do you have admin privileges, Rubix? I thought I did. Them. Slash. Game rule. Is it do weather? Uh, tab pass out of the complete trades. I'm not off anymore for some reason. Let's try do and then tab Sorry. and it'll auto complete uh, all the possibilities. Uh, it's the server's so laggy it can't like oh, yeah. complete anything. Do weather cycle false. Hmm. People found a Ruby lens. <laughs> Yeah, but you should always just wrench the side and it should reconnect, right? Splattered against uh, yeah, Stargate like Iris. Wait, what? It opened? <laughs> it opened? 
What? Here, it did open. Let me go open the Stargate on the other side. I can't even, like, wrench these fucking oh, pipes. No. It's just so laggy. This scuff. It's Jova. Okay, man, we think I'm finally loaded. Let's see if I can actually try now. Just fix the grabby suit one. What do you think I'm trying to do? We're at one. <laughs> oh, yes. hard line of Ed Horizon. <laughs> People are dying. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, dying. right. I forgot to open I... the iris on the other end. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, that was the, the joke. Button, but it's taken forever. Yeah, oh, now everybody no. goes through dies. That's the joke. Oh, no. <laughs> go fix it, I guess. Go, go fix it. Oh shit, Sam! So the whole base is like all the tinted glass in the base is yeah. breaking. Yeah, mm -hmm, it is. Wait, why uh, is the glass breaking? It's, it's weird it's because it's got like an instant breaking thing. It's uh, it works. You can break it even in like adventure mode, but yeah. Oh, I timed out trying to join. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> this is it's Jova. <laughs> oh wait, you put wireless terminals here. Yeah. You really think it's a good idea to have everybody able to open the interface terminal? Of course. <laughs> it's going to be pandemonium. <laughs> You're going to kill the server more than it already is. Wait, am I in? I'm in. Holy shit, there's so many, like, fucking grabby suits and shit on Oof. the floor here. I might be in. Oh, no. Oh, it's so light. I can't even pick up these items on the floor. It's like, the TPS is fucked. It's like 0.6. <laughs> Wait, a tick time I think is like 400, 500 milliseconds, 350. Hmm, maybe I should have added more wireless chargers. <laughs> yeah, that's what also Hardstyle Fox was saying. Yeah. Let's see, do we have the cards? We don't have cards. Okay, I'm going to have to spawn them in. Wow, well, shaders carry you, Samsa SMH. Ooh. Transformer blew up thought... where? Oh god, already? 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 Oh my god. This is fucked. <laughs> Actually fucked. I'm gonna have to reset uh, re the backup due to this. Probably. This thing isn't even painted. Near the bacteria? What did you... Near bacteria stuff, oh. what? Hold on. I need to go investigate this. This is so laggy. <laughs> I mean, this is sick, but at the same time, man. It's, oh. uh... So oh. we cannot handle it. <laughs> Wait, I'm sharing screen. Hold on. Take a look at the God. Oh no. What's it happening? I'm around the corner. <laughs> oh my god. I need to I'm trying to TP to you, but it's gonna take a moment. <gasps> what? How? Oh, I need to see Rubik's. It wasn't even raining, oh, so they managed to break a block somehow. Where? Oh, because of the, uh... Wait, where is it? Where is it? You should be able to break it. Uh, bacterial vats. Yeah, I'm at the bacterial vats, I don't see it. Well, okay, um... Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's amazing. Rip. Ah. Uh... Uh... People still dying to the Stargate as well, this is hilarious. Yeah, because Probably I haven't been able to <laughs> fix it yet. I tried yeah, the button to open it, but... Yeah, you have to I'll be uh, Dylan or me. I hard-coded it. Yeah, we're the only ones that have permission to press the button. <laughs> uh, let me okay. open Iris. I'm gonna go and try and open the Iris. I've pressed it. We'll see. Yeah, it's opening now. Okay, good. Okay, Stargate is safe now. Oh, this server's getting fucked instantly. Alright, I managed to... Proof of cards now. Actually, do they work? Wait, what? Where did they go? How does ME system know when to place more iron fences in void dimension? We're not using lightning <laughs> rods anymore. Wait, somebody went in there? Oh no. No, already. <laughs> uh, instantly goes to your fucking hidden void dimension. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so scuffed. Found another okay, big see. hole. Another oh, big hole. Where? Portal, please. Where? <laughs> this is so laggy. Wait, are is still close? We'll change wireless, but it's not enough. So is it bait me? Rose, I need food or charge. Yeah, okay, we oh, have an no. issue. We did not make enough of these. Oh no. 
Negative 917, negative 368. Negative um, 17. Oh, that's... oh, going to the Stargate completely destroys your um, charge. I see. Negative 9. Wait, where are they? Really? What the hell's happening here? I'm going, going to the, the coordinates Stargate now. Destroys the charge? Uh, that's like <laughs> in the ocean, is it not? I need infinity armor, I think. I've teleported to the planet. Somebody might have actually started just flying away from the place. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's the what the Leto, fuck? The lobby. Me? Oh yeah, sure. Slash up Rubik's. Uh it's the lobby of the auto crafting building, Samsa. It blew up. The AT there got fucked. Wait, what? The, lobby. the like the new auto crafting building as well. <laughs> oh, well that's uh, just a beautiful lobby is oh. fucked. No, it hasn't changed. Uh -huh. It actually, it's it's only the the very first one I think exploded. Oh god! Like the one that was floating, the floating one. Mm. For some reason it didn't blow up this one though. Absolute chaos! It's fifteen minutes after the start, and it's just <laughs> complete and utter pandemonium. Yeah. yeah, this is fun. Can people turn on power pass? That's a good question. Should I just disable AT explosion people... tech tech config? I really should have. Um, I might have to revert to the backup. Yeah, we might have to. The fact yeah. that half the server's already blown up, people have figured out mm. ways already of griefing. We need to like go on and. Wait. I told you to <laughs> disable explosions, and you said no. That's cringe. I forgot. Can people turn I on forgot. power pass? Oh shit, that's true. They might be able to. What does power pass even do? <laughs> it makes the ATs blow up instantly. Why? What is it? What is I like? What's it intended to do? Like, what's power pass intended to do? Good question. It's a grief button. <laughs> it's it's just a grief button. Okay. Yeah, the whole lobby's fucked. Like, this is filthy. Tac tac config. Let's see. Explosion. Boom. Enable. Okay. All. Is there any way to make us people can't fucking break blocks at all? Like, can we claim the whole area and then like... The entire area is claimed. I don't know how they're doing it. No, but the problem is adventure mode, you can still break tinted glass in adventure mode. Because it's a one punch thing. So like, in adventure mode, you're allowed to punch a block once. And it won't put ah. any breaking progress towards yeah. it. But because tinted glass just has a thing where it says if it gets punched, it gets broken. <laughs> Heading to your ass, uh, space elevators right now, Obamacare. True. Obamacare. My There's an ore washer next. Is he made his way to the ore processing mm. building? Yeah, this place is fucked. <laughs> Love seeing these people with one death already on their tag. Who <laughs> 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 literally had to go through the Stargate. I'm so right not used to this. Oh, I typed that armor. message so long ago. People are stuck in the basement. Yes. Yeah, actually, uh, can I turn off the Greg tech explosions as well? Probably. Let's see, Greg. This needs to have all types Greg. of explosions. I'll do my best. Is we'll there try. anything else that we can turn off to, like, save TPS? A2, I guess. I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe if you don't, don't give people access to the network. I mean, it's kind of sad. We can probably re enable it later, I guess. Oh, I can disable all explosion damage. Oh, yeah. That right. probably helps as well. Okay, that should be a lot of explosions gone now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I need to... Also... Yeah. I am going to reset the backup because this is just... What the hell? The explosions are so laggy as well, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. So, this is going to be kind of annoying because I'm going to kick like 60 people away from here. But um, it is what it is. In the middle of nowhere with no way to die or fly, there is an ore washer next to me. <laughs> He's yeah. in the basement. <laughs> Took 15 minutes to break the entire thing. Amazing. What basement? Sorry? The, like the, one. The, the one next to the space elevator. The one that we put all of our shit in because we had nowhere oh, else to Oh, the OG it. basement. The good basement. The one that the, I put the Stargate in. The, underneath the main tower. Yes. <laughs> Got stuck down there. <laughs> Right, server's going to go down now. Oh, 
Uh, another AT just exploded. Line? Like, no. Yeah, AT just exploded right. at the. I, um, I heard that. Fake Greg Vec. Let's see. One six eight. Oh, oh, I, oh, I oh my god, that was so laggy. Oh, right. now we arm are up the entire thing. The enemy unzip okay. the world without zip. Okay, I'm going to give this thing two more cores as well. Maybe that helps a little bit. Can you shut down the other people's servers? Like. Uh, whoever else is running on Hetzner right now. Oh, what? Are there any other people running on Hetzner right oh, now? Oh, there are, on? yeah. I could try that, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get a very angry ping saying, we paid for this, why is it down? Yeah. Yeah. Too bad. They're getting a discount server, bro. Remember to boot this back up then. All right, server's booting back up now. There's still a bit tech to load chunks from backup in place. Probably is, but um, this is way easier <laughs> because I know how to do it and figure it out. <laughs> okay, let's hope this doesn't explode in our faces. Unfortunately, everyone's like, Logs will be uh, removed, like all the visit logs. Oh, that's okay. That's press the button yeah. again. That's fine. Um, is there a way that we can like claim the whole area, make people can't interact with anything? The thing is claimed. Um, I don't know how they. <laughs> they shouldn't be able to interact. Break blocks. They shouldn't be able to. That's so weird. Is power pass going to be disabled? Um, I disabled all explosions from AT, so you shouldn't be able to blow up anything in in the entire base now. Give them compensation in form of sounds of building stuff for them one hour. <laughs> uh, no. All right, service almost up, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they can get me build stuff for them. I will <laughs> something up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can build us a building. That's fine. It definitely I did. would be a hole in the floor. Service should be up now. Maybe. Well, I'm logging in. It's taking its time though. Oh shit! You said said scene hack. Scene hack. See the the scene. Oh god! What the hell is happening? Holy shit! There was like fifty people trying to join at the same time. Oh, <laughs> internal server out. error. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, ten people on there. Holy! <laughs> you should have said nothing. Oh, I'm on. Like, Hooray. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. Wait, my position right. got saved. Huh. That's really weird. Oh, wait. It did get saved. Yeah, wait, that's exactly where I logged off. Huh? But nothing's going up, though. It's good. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Hey, I'm still logging uh, in. Oh. Um... Can I join you? Okay. <laughs> Can I join my own server, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I own it now. Hold on, is everyone still stuck in the... I think oh, so. Oh, they'll all be stuck in the Stargate yeah. room again. <laughs> I'll have to go in there and... Oh, no. Oh, the, there's no facade on the fucking... Uh, yeah. What's it called? Hardened Conduit facade? Yeah, um, but yeah. But you cannot place them unless they're painted, I think. Oh, how do you paint them in? In a painting machine, but um, is there for us, for me to just take them away from me? Oh, there we go. No, oh, I yeah, hold on. Log in. I can actually right. do it. I can actually do a, a workaround. Uh, oh, look like, wait, what? The player data was saved somehow. Yeah, so I'm saying oh, player data was saved. Like that's because position. I actually I, I did the backup while the server was shutting down, so it it saved the player data. Starve to death? Oh no. <laughs> okay, um Starve I, I could to death. I might have to add a few more wireless chargers. Yes. Okay, okay I'm for starting up these things. 
Hold on. Healing axe for everyone. Uh, my mm, healing axe allows to break loaded. wood. It's fine though. Yeah, I, th I think I'll swap out the um. Healing axe for everyone. Booster. Yeah. No, but the healing axe fucking people can break shit with it, right? Yeah, there's a problem as well. Um, it's, uh, let me enable the target again. Actually, I have an idea. TPS is a bit better now, though. Right, I'm gonna go open up the iris again. What, what the fuck? <laughs> you just do slash give everyone? Yeah, now we all have food. <laughs> that works? Holy okay. <laughs> yeah, gate iris is still closed. Good. Also, wait, I, I have die. another... Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm gonna cook. No, I'll go. I'll go open the the, the iris. It's opening now. Yeah. Now I should be able to link it as well. Oh, do you want me to press the link button then? Connect. Let's see what happens. Maybe I I really to want it. to do this. Slash every Let's do... uh, affects everyone's saturation. Like, can you do? Huh? Oh no, Rubix! No. no, that's actually gonna destroy things. Don't. What have you done? It actually. Causes real explosions. Oh my god. Oh, minor, yep, bye. It's fine. <laughs> oh, rip. T bone exploded. What have you done? Kakashi exploded. Miss Zito exploded. Shane uh, <laughs> DDM exploded. Hostile Fox exploded. Oh, hey, Glow Red, my Dice Fox shine. Oh no. Oh, it's connected. Rubix. Why are you I such love a this. agent of Discord? Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <sighs> Just turn off the computer. Oh my god, these people are actually clueless. You have some bad actors in here. <laughs> Total explosion screen needs to be updated. True. Where is that screen? Also, for some reason, when I press the button, Sam, sorry, it just brings up the screen instead. Like, I can't press it in world. Oh. Weird. Um, I think that there uh, might be the keyboard on there. You have to take that away. Why did you oh. give the grenade juice? Well, people are... So bad. This is really, really funny. <laughs> what? Okay, Everyone's people are just fucking exploding. trolling. Oh, yeah, bye. Doing? Trolling by keep pressing, pressing the button over and over again. I can, um, I can manually connect it, I guess. Oh, it's, it's on. <laughs> Someone died. Right. <laughs> like, sure. Get fucked. Wait, someone <laughs> placed... Who placed Rubidium Ore? Who did that? Wait, what? There's Rubidium Ore right in front of the Stargate here. Look, Samsa. I'm standing what? on. It's gone. What the fuck? Okay, TPS is a bit better now. We're like at 5 TPS. That's yeah, almost playable. Oh almost my playable. god. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did you give the grenade juice? Ah. You're actually throwing. Actually, did about. Oh, it's Tell actually causing it's damage. It's blowing yeah. the whole area. No. Oh. We need to reload again. Do we? Thanks, Rubix. Yeah, it's blowing out the. It just blew up the entrance area. All the decorations are fucked. Like the whole lobby, the whole um tunnel. It blew up the. Apparently, yeah, it blows it, up. It also blew up the open house thing. I yeah, the, the computer are locked. Are locked. Okay, we gotta reload again. Rip. Rubix, why? Why did you do that? <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but yeah. Wait. That's... Uh... Kankashi? How has he got Rubidium? What the fuck? Oh my god, Rubix. You do realize that oh, you have... He went to the deep dark? Around. What? What did the deep dark? the fuck? Okay, we gotta disable the deep dark portal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, people are going to the deep dark and getting ore, and then they can place blocks. Oh. Because adventure mode doesn't stop you from placing blocks when you're breaking uh. them. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, time for another um, backup save, I guess. <laughs> Skip oh, the no. night, please. Yeah, wow. Or I don't know he has night vision on. Oh, another Please explosion. don't give grenade shoes to people. <laughs> okay, look, it was funny once.
But yeah, I didn't realize it actually caused block damage. I thought it just blew you up. I didn't think it was like a real explosion. <laughs> I need to go to the folder first. This will actually reset everyone's player data as well. I'm around. I have no problem with the server. About the I okay, Samsa, what <laughs> sure. is it going to be for people who decide to just fly in one direction for thousands and thousands of blocks? That's I what I was know. saying. I, I don't know how to fix that like easily. There's no way. There's no like boundary. There's no like uh, world border you can do like in later versions of Minecraft. I, I don't know. The only way I could do it is like an open so, computer script, but uh, it's also not very reliable. There's also people going into like every single possible dimension and stealing items out of miners and shit. Which means I get blocks, which then they can place. Come on, guys. We try an actual tour with whitelist and maybe blow everything up after us with everyone won. I was intended to do a whitelist, but I just need to get this like this start done. Like laggy thing is fine. Uh, I just cannot have this spawn being blown up by Rubik's all the time. <laughs> adventure mode should be about as good as there, adventure about mode. Me not having pulled the trigger, just provide the ammunition. But you knew they would pull the trigger. I plead the fifth. <laughs> the server is in Germany. There is no fifth. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? They don't have like a, a right to remain silent in other countries? It's probably not called the fifth though. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, no, shit. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, they have the obligation to remain silent. Yeah, stay silent, bitch. <laughs> You're not allowed to defend yourself. I'm down. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why is Internal server error. Always what? the first one in. Uh, yeah. Heart block is always error. the first in. Crazy. Simon. Okay, maybe maybe third time's like, the charm, right? Oh yeah, my inventory's reset. Rip. Yep. Okay. Okay, I gotta go to the lobby and fix the uh wait, can the players it? take stuff off of drawing racks? Oh shit, they can. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> because oh, wow. wasn't it you that put a bunch of grenade juice no, on the No, no, nobody did that. Oh, I remember. No, <laughs> doesn't exist. This isn't here. Never was. How did I get it up there? There's no though? juice in bossing, say. So. Yep, only, only Jager Meister. Okay. All right, give me. Be safe now. Oh Time to God. go open the Hold gates. Oh, I'm going here. Everyone's shit from <laughs> with my magnet. Oh, magnet. <laughs> That's funny. Why is the wait? Did you not give charge stuff as the item in the? No, they should be. Drawers? Oh, actually, this this when it is spawned in, that not, might not be charged. Um, but the uh, dispensers do get charged things. Are you sure? Because I'm getting, I'm picking up like zero charge items. I think that's part of the issue. Is everyone's shit is trying mm. to charge at once? Weird. Wait, you you put uncharged stuff? No, in the, the drawers have charged stuff in them. Okay. Now don't do not click the screen when it opens up repeatedly. Click it once and let it open. Manually link it. I People are not going to listen to though. But when if I manually link it, it's gonna close oh, in a people. in a few minutes, and then anyone who joins will be stuck. All right. It's pressed now. 
Do not touch it. Let it cycle. People are not going to listen. They're just going to troll. That's what people do. Oh my god. Hold on. Okay, one, one's done. Everyone trying to get their like, armor. Did they go add more wireless chargers? Oh, 100%. Shit takes so much. Okay, the TP is actually pretty good now. It's like. Yeah, because there's like 10 people on. It's not oh, connecting there's, though. There's people 60 are people keep on. Pressing it. No, it is, it is connecting. It's at four um, dials already. Why is it not spinning? Oh, it there is. we go. Oh. Yeah, TB is with 10 now. Kankashi, interested in behaving now? No, I don't hate you. Place. I was just curious how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest in peace, pilot. All right. Gate works. Yay. Nice. Great. Oh, the flood. Finally, is... no scuff. The scuff is gone. <laughs> oh, there's so many people flooding. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the most used Stargate portal ever made. <laughs> Why does it GUI look like this? Um, Because I have Nidus glasses. I just didn't feel like that would be a good idea to give out to people. Yeah. You don't and also. You can manually configure you... like, every person that has one. I could provide like they some need, like, their common. Own thing. I could provide common um, resolutions that would work, but it's even more packet data you have to send to people, so not a good idea. Yeah. It also puts a lot more strain on the computer as well, right? On the Nidus rack. Uh, actually, it doesn't because it only renders it to the glasses terminal, and then the glasses terminal just sends to like the the frame essentially the players. Oh, Anyways, okay. not that we have actually managed to get people through the Stargate without the server crashing or everything exploding. We can actually start doing a base tour. <laughs> 36 minutes in. Yep. Uh, anyways, I let Too me reload my board. shaders first. So otherwise, the neon will look wrong. Well, I wonder who's going to find the first exploit that ruins the server again. Oh, the glass is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I Fell just from a high point. <laughs> They just fell in front of me and landed on like the, the ME core and just died. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, was actually like... let me add some more chargers first, I guess, before I go this Yeah, tour. let's go let's go add some chargers somewhere. What can we just spawn in like uh what's like the highest charger? Wireless charger and Mark 9, I guess. Is there like a block that just gives infinite GT EU? Mm. Like creative? The debug generator. Debug generator. Uh, we do have a 64 amp LUV cable, that should be fine. No, I was going to put just like 64 UHV. Wireless you don't know if can charge everything. Debug power generator. Debug power generator. I need to switch all of these. Debug pollution generator. Oh. Did you hear me say pollution? You just instantly like, whoa. Ah, I, that should be craftable, unironically. Uh, how does this thing work? Oh, uh, it's kind of janky. Well, tank, tin oh, can. Oh, yeah, actually, can actually, can you do the tin can thing again? Just not the grenade juice. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to make my own house out of oh, these glass that... blocks. Skull. God damn it. Oh shit! Uh, Here, explosions. Take some tin cans. I just saw a thing in the chat. It said like multi explode boom at negative two thousand. Yeah, I think tech -tech. that it locks the explosions, but it doesn't do anything. Oh okay. I did say the lock. You know. nice. How do you wait? It... Turn... Wait, 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 wait! It logs in chat if a multi explodes. Um. Yeah, with the setting I have. Oh, actually, this is mixed mode now. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just somebody managed to destroy an active transformer. What? Oh, it's yeah, but this didn't explode. Didn't explode, but the transformer is gone. So our base. That's fine. The base can, like, die. Doesn't matter. Okay, I did, like, 16 more wireless chargers. Hopefully, this keeps people fed. Right, we can finally start going through the buildings now. 
Uh, do we just like start from northeast and work our way towards to the southwest corner? The AE offline? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not. 166 trillion stone dust. It's beautiful. All right. Well. Actually, should we do in chronological order instead? Would that be better? I mean, we can start the original island. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, because we're doinking the glass to go build shit. Actually, no. Uh, I'm not going to go there. Lag it up. Load in more chunks. I'll let's do like uh build order properly. We're All magic. Right. So the first thing we built in this new base actually was the three towers in the middle. I think I was the only one building this base by then. And you were the only <laughs> we one only doing finished the towers. This. I was doing yeah. the energy. Oh area. yeah, right. Um, we only finished this like a few weeks ago, so they were sitting kind of half finished for uh, over six months. But they are I mean, pretty big in our also base. Like, yeah. I'd say they're finished. And we still use the good old wooden sign to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, there's the famous uh, meme of Samsung hating the OC printer down in the. <laughs> Main tower yeah. under the LSC. Yeah, I hate this so much. The middle of the towers is a large pit where we have our first base elevator um, and the main A2 core, of course. So this thing can give up, give out about fifteen thousand channels. And it was plenty for our needs. I think we only ended up using like eight thousand, if that. Kind of over. We also, I mean, we planned this very. This was like a very core design of the tower. Like we specifically yeah. made space for a space elevator, and the core was designed to have a hole through the middle for the cable and. Mm -hmm. Space elevator. So, yeah, this was all very intentional. Yeah. But the very middle tower here has our base. main LSC. This is where most of our energy is stored, or at least used to be. Now it's in the wireless network. And, um, oh, people are breaking crafting glass CPUs. and shit. Stop yeah. it. Well, they're going to be doing that. But yeah, the crafting CPUs are all up here in the tower. And then uh, the both of the side towers are nothing but Yoto tanks. Which I think that's like 75% of all our fluid storage, roughly. We have a few more other things uh, in some other places, but that's the primary place of storing everything. Then we have all the item storage over here. Pretty full right now. Uh, so these are like the uh, generic drives that are not formatted for anything. 16 million all the way. There's roughly 400, I think. Maybe a bit more. Wait, actually, how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 7. So that's 16 times 4, 640 drives. Pretty good. On the other side, we have the thing mirrored, where we have the fluid drives in these. And then we have the digital singularities that are formatted for all the high volume things on this side. There's also something to be said about the main tower does have some holes in the floor which were from <laughs> earlier machines way back in like LUV we just never really patched them up we sort of had ideas to do stuff with them but we ran out of time oh so. yeah I filled one of the holes with an AAL uh, yeah. but yeah this is a bit of like vulcanite it's not neutronium I think what yeah, it was a that's uh, a Molly's door it's like a custom door it's made out of castle rope and tinted glass it's very nice with their reflections Sadly, that will be getting removed soon, apparently. Malice's doors apparently is very terrible. It's like bad for rendering. Oh, design, right, so yeah. The bottom will be getting removed. So if you're planning to build with these, probably don't. It will be getting removed yeah. in a future update. It's oh, <laughs> Louis is at work, unfortunately. I guess he's coming back from work. Let's see if he can actually join the server. Uh, someone's pulling out Draconium dust from something. What the fuck? Get out of it. Yeah. There's no wireless power for the armor, but I just added like 16 more chargers. I added tw I added like 20 UHV chargers with infinite power. The they UMT should be all running. The white Mark charging. 9 is the highest and it uh, runs on UHV. No, it's UHV. The tooltip. Mark 9. Yeah. Now, the second building we made after the main towers was the auto crafting building. Oh, it is. It's space for machines. This is also completely built by by me, I think. And it had space for how many is this? Like uh, sixty or so machines. It was mostly GT plus uh, plus initially. I've been swapping them out for PAs. Uh, 
And you can also see, still see some of the like original HSS cables. Let me enable my night vision here. This thing used to be like so spaghetti. Because we didn't have ATs back then, so it was just cables. The, so bad. The basement here is still pretty spaghetti. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. so oh. every time we need like a mis miscellaneous setup or something like that, uh, we just add it in the basement. And this thing is just like horrible. Just random machines everywhere, this even though I've cleaned it like three times. The yeah, just <laughs> random machines. What the hell? Clean it and then a we need this... something new and we just put it down here. Yeah. This was a lot of Rubik's and Lin's uh, kind of doing. They often needed a setup for a random, like, Thing that are doing either a quest or some sort of random progression things they're like oh well I'm put it in the basement the basement it goes which is fair enough like if there's no designated spot for it it's like yeah yeah this is actually still our cutting machine array all of these pas are cutting machines fully linked together oh hey Rubens. um oh, hello hmm? wait. Wait, what? Oh. oh no wait can they what? access this thing here <laughs> delano which thing all right uh, what is this? The next building we made after the towers here. Wait, does this like these... give you shit or something? This inventory. is my inventory. Energy district here. <laughs> Wait, what? All oh, right, what? Uh, interface. Player interface. I think people have access to this. <laughs> oh, so you better was like building this turn area it off. While I was making the towers. Um, this used to house our initial fusion reactors. You can think I see the shells here. But they have been discontinued for the compacts nowadays. Uh, we use helium plasma for. Wait, actually, did we use helium plasma for power? Oh, yeah, we did for the uh, a little large bit. sheet exchangers, yeah. But then we, we switched to Amazium pretty quickly. Five fusion reactors before we started using compacts. This looked really nice, though. <laughs> I like It was a really uh, nice building. Yeah, and the sounds they made were really good as well. They make the fusion reactor sound they added is so good. And like this building had potential, but then we kind of moved out of it by the time I had time to finish it. So it kind of never really got finished. Yeah, and it's very like I put a lot of effort into like the lobby and everything. Like nothing in here. Yeah. Um like on the other so side the lobby and... What do we have here? Oh right. This used to be the turbine building. So we had like the gas turbine or turbines, turbines on the side here. But it has been repurposed to be the UU matter production nowadays. Which is off yeah, for some not, reason. Again, I don't know why it's off. Finished. Oh, there's some down here working. Like half of mm -hmm. them. But yeah, this is but, the uh, amount of UU matter production you need to get a gate, apparently. Uh, I did have to add these because we were not getting enough from the one building only. Yeah. Right. What is next after this? Was it Solidifier building already? Uh, oh no, the chem building. Let's actually go there. Like the first. Oh, yeah. the doing fun chronological chem order, yeah. Fun. <laughs> the one with the, fun. the Jane Cars periodic table. The one I had to go sift through every machine manually to get all the quest items. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. For some reason, the, the Platline quest wants every. <laughs> every so, single stupid. This building I actually made in like four hours from scratch. Um, because we needed a space to put all the chemical lines in. It's very kind of. Primitive. It looks decent. It kind of fits in the cliff. Not bad. It's it did its job. Yeah. It wasn't your best work, but wasn't your worst either. Here, so here we, here we had the plot line, the act line, the mono line, the bust line, and some other like plastic lines in this building. Rubber, like all the. Oh man, you, you can still see the original plane. vanadium gallium cables as well. Yeah. Yeah, platinum cables, vanadium gallium. Yeah. Oh, signalium. <laughs> Yeah, all these OG tables. Hold on, we, we just got to, uh, where are you? Just the old chem building. We can just spray paint a bit, bring back some good oh, memories. No. <laughs> Don't okay. do it. Interesting, can TV me real quick. Okay. Four hours to build that, this bear. Is that like, it's way too short or way too long? <laughs> Not sure what you mean. What the fuck? This thing also had multiple layers. Yeah. Also, uh, I think this was one of the so first cool. areas where we figured out you can use the diagonal glass. Actually, no, that was the cross building, which is... Ah. I think this that is was certainly next, epic. actually. <laughs> Apparently, Kankashi found a bunch of uh, UMV electrolyzers. And he placed them down in a sign that says epic. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Home of the building, though. Uh, I don't know. Like, very functional, but uh, looks nice inside. Oh, it's fine. I don't mind. I just don't want people, like, griefing, that's all. All right. Uh, um, so the next building, I think, was the Pross building, because we needed assembling machines somewhere. This one was also unfinished for a really long time, except for the exterior here, which I've not made. Um, but we screwed up the interior like a month ago or so. Brass building was... Yeah, I was working on that pretty early as well. That was very yeah. soon after the NG District. Actually, it might have been before the chem building, honestly, because we kind of needed to get assemblers going. To I feel like it was the same time. It. <laughs> it was roughly the same time. Yeah, I think you were working on the chem building, I was doing brass, maybe. Yeah. It was something like that. Yeah, there's uh, how many is there? Twelve? I did yeah, twelve quads of process. One of them is um, actually no, two of them are in precise mode, and then the rest are um, in normal assembly mode. And this is probably the most extensive universal automation we have. So there's like one universal setup for every circuit here. Actually, kind of wild how it looks from below. There's so many interfaces. Too fair. That wireless set. Universal setup was not the case originally. It was a very convoluted setup. Yeah, where, like yeah, like twenty because different storage that. buses and stuff. I only figured out Universal in like UEV or something. It was pretty late, yeah. Yeah. But originally, it was a lot more jank. I mean, that's kind of why there's this like this uh, little room underneath, like with the with the near with the um, what's it called? Whatever. The oh yeah, is, true. Like, castle tile thing. Actually, yeah. It's a little <laughs> this room opening to here. access to. Yeah. I forgot what the lock's called. It's like a. Disappearing TPS, castle. please. It should work. Yeah, but TPS is TPS. Huh. Uh, maybe, maybe it doesn't work, actually. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. I'm not in adventure mode, though. It should open up. Oh, anyway, so those should open yeah, up but... and let you access the other side. Yeah. Show base. I had to go to the Twilight Forest and, like, a blue because, right? These are in the. These are actually from the unfinished. Uh, final boss of Twilight Forest. It's like a white castle you can find. It's like the final thing. It's not implemented properly. And so I went there and uh, dug up a whole bunch of these castle blocks. It took ages. Because um, there's not many of them. And you can't yeah, craft TPS them. Yeah, TPS is so. shot. I have one TPS. Oh, yeah. A 0. 0.5. 0. 0.6. What's the, what's the actual TPS? Is it the first, second, or third number? Uh, it's the middle red number right now. Ah, uh, 1.08. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ME chests. Uh, interactable. Yeah, unless ME you want to go slap a security protected. terminal on every single ME chest. Okay, somebody has to be doing I'm... something because we are have two thousand fix time right now. So zero point five TPS. Oh, uh, Sam, sir, people can take share of subnets. I think is the issue. They can't oh, interrupt the main net, but they can still true. fuck around with subnets, right? There should be anything in like, you to, like, for the Nintendo still. Well, yeah, but they can go and like. Like pull out Templar and dust and drop it on the floor or whatever. Like people are probably drawing. It's probably, probably why ITPS is fucked. So maybe I should put a security terminal on a subnet. Mm -hmm. What well, was that for the frost? I guess yeah. Oh right, the assembly line building and the chem building. Those were kind of built together as well. Actually, the fluid solidifiers uh, were also pretty early. Fluid solidifier. No, the, the OG uh, autocrafting building was very soon after this. No, that actually, was, no, that was actually one of the first buildings we made. I already went over that. I showed it already. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. but, yeah but here we have the rainbow heart on top. And then all the fluid oh, yes. solidifiers that we needed for the entire game, actually. Managed to fit in this small building. It's kind of, it's kind of simple as well, but I, I do like this. It fills up the space nicely. It's very Zero modern. energy. There is definitely energy. It's just uh, laggy, you know. There's uh, 24 Charge. spots for quads. Right now, all of them are automated with Universal. This is actually my initial test bench for the Universal as well. I started with the hardest one, which was the figuring out the fluid only automation. But it's been pretty reliable. Managed to make the Stargate, so. Very nice. And then we have the fluid extractors here as well. Let's go to the west side now. Actually, I guess I could show the... Oh, the linking room. Right, I forgot that. This is one of the first ones as well. So we kind of went with fully wireless networks uh, really early on. And AE2 used, ended up using like half of our power in like LUV. But I think it paid off. <laughs> yeah, we, were like... we never had to rework our AE network after coming here. 
So essentially, there's this yeah, sub list or uh, sub controller here that links to the main P, um, main network over there, and then just ferries all the P2Ps to each individual wireless, and then this these wireless connectors are linked around the base. The system works really nicely, and it's also very easy to like expand. My 10 FPS is not enjoying it. I didn't say like, congrats yet. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, uh, as We're you can see, right now, this, this room was actually scaled so it can take every P2P from the main net. But you can see we only use like maybe 60%. This is the entire wall unused in here. Oh, you look at the linking room right now. Yeah. So we definitely had way more channels uh, available if needed. All right. Yeah. Let's head to the US area now. The only building the must be made. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this started happening kind of pretty soon after the move, I think. Uh, he was working on that. I was working on the bell proc and the cow building roughly around that time as well. Yeah. So, so Mudspot yeah, just ended up. Oh, damn, my journey map actually isn't updated. I cannot show it on the map. Uh, Mudspot ended up paving out this entire swamp with like a few bits. Uh, that's why you can see lots of these flat plains with nothing on them uh, if you explore enough. But this was the area where we had all of our assembly lines initially. We had space for like 120 or so of them, which is, uh, which is like very standard automation. But we only ended up needing like 20 or 42, I think. So only two out of the 10 slots are like filled, or our levels are filled. Yeah, it was. Oh, but... I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Server crash. Oh, just time oh, 45 people on, though. This is the server is having a hard time. Yeah, server is having a hard time. The server stay up overnight. Yes, I will uh, bring it down tomorrow at midnight. Okay, server is lagging four hundred seconds behind. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh, it kicked everyone off the server. It looks a bit. Oh. If everyone is loading the data banks, that's so much data the server has to send. That might be why. Oh shit! Uh, we might need to destroy the data banks. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. If I can. I think I can just get rid of all the. Um, uh oh, they're all dot names. Okay. We just like a water that selection. We just go like delete all. <laughs> I just destroy all the um, all the data hatches. Now, if I can only open up my AE. Uh. Help though. <laughs> if I could open A. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think In theory. I have to grab a trash can to do this though. But Rubik's, you know, as Oppenheimer said, theory will only take you so far. It will only <laughs> take you so far. <laughs> in theory, in this day and age. I oh mean... my god, people People are griefing again. Putting down fucking Yeah, you will probably objectively have a better experience uh in this space after you get the wall download. But uh <laughs> open house still worth doing. I got rid of all the patterns. That helps. Good. Should help. Yeah, TV is still going a lot better now. There we go. Oh, there's a fucking architect saw bench here that we never got rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Just down near the uh, the western eye harmonies, the the whole ones. Right. Oh, um. Those things laying around all over the place. 
Uh, we be. try and pick him up, but sometimes we forget. <laughs> so Chi was actually working on the Mega EBF area while um, Matsubo was working on the ass line. This also turned oh, out really right, nice. Yes, then so this thing might, initially so housed eight, yoinked. I think eight or twelve of these, and then we just expanded it when we did more and more. And uh, now it goes on for I think sixteen, actually no eight slots. So that's thirty-two of each. But this room is also really cool, I think. It kind of like hides the scale of the megas really well. Like it. I think the Floki plus ATs win. <laughs> and it just crashed the server, I'm pretty sure. And. Oh, where am I? It's funny Did actually because the entrance for the mega EBF building was somewhere else. And then Mud liked it. And he like yoinked the design and then put it in the middle of his building. And then I think yeah, she just around decided. It. Move it, yeah, to just like move the original entrance to be in, in mud. Yeah, <laughs> kind of fun. I think after this, we made the chem area, I believe that was pretty early yeah, as well. We need like cal, cal area and um, and oil proc were next, yeah, they were pretty early. Let me, let me show the chem, chem area first, though. So, this was the mega chem lines, um. Where we had the plat line, the nap line, and all the plus. Well, essentially oh, all the chem after we or after we couldn't really scale up the normal LCRs anymore. So there's space for about 160 mega LCRs, and then there's also a lot of um, auxiliary machines on the sides and below. I think there's six mega DTs as well, and the neutron accelerators as well, or activators. There they are, in these ponds. But this also is a really cool area, I think. It's like very simple and it's really easy to make. It's just copy someone, the same design. How did someone launch a clean. rocket? What? Oh, right. Oh, They God. had fuel in them. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get rid of the fuel? I told you to. I forgot. How did you do that? I forgot. Wait. <laughs> yeah, he's in the museum. Oh, no. Oh, they're all launched. They're all gone. Nice. Every single one's gone. <laughs> it's literally just the tier eight. Oh, people are just getting in and fucking... Oh my god. And they're breaking Great. the glass well, so they can just get out. Oh my <laughs> lord. Well, right. that's But what then we had the ore processing here. Um, This was also... Wait, somebody broke GG on the wall. Oh, with cold and ore. someone just blew something up and we just got damaged. In the I heard now. an explosion. Unfortunate. Yep. yep. Yeah, the so ore processing um, used to have all the quantum tunnels to all the different planets where you had to mine with void miners. And then we had this like six, actually five machines set up where we sorted all the ores to be processed in a separate line. How do you fly in this suit? You have to enable the gravity or the uh, gravitation engine. You have to check your key binds for that. Right, and all the machines for the ore processing were in this hall. This was a really comfy area, I think. We had all the li different lines color coded um, going under the glass. Which hole? What? What are you talking about? The uh, GT plus plus or processing. Oh yeah. Or what category? Or processing I think was. It's had... like gravity enable or something. Gravity fly key. And when we got to like I think UEB, um, the GT plus plus or processing becomes kind of obsolete, and we switch oh, to this or processing factories. Rockets. They'll run out soon enough. <laughs> yeah, but they keep exploding when they land. Oh, unfortunate. It, they fucking blew it, blowing up the museum. Unfortunate. The rocket? <laughs> After more processing was the hull area, right? Oh my god, the rockets are just going. <laughs> yep. Okay, I can't even I can hear them. Anymore. Well, we're just going to have to fucking reload the server after the tour, I guess. Why? I just want to keep griefing it. Well, because the museum is blown up now. <laughs> you don't understand. They're blowing uh, up the museum. Unfortunately. Wait, because the rockets, when they, they explode. Where? Exactly? Right. At the museum. So, okay to me. Initially, we only had needed four calls for like nanos and crystals, and we had them in this section, this like gloss enclosure. Um, but those have been replaced by the PCB factory now. Uh, the original nano circuit ones are still here on display. Unfortunately, this design is really scalable, so it's more of like a museum piece at this point. 
Uh, people are in the super secret base tunnel. <laughs> yeah. This energy bar uh, and everything that makes you have advantage through open computers? Yes, that's Anidas. It's a program I wrote. I am at the call building area right now. Ah, yes, my um, favorite. Well, so when we started needing more calls, oh. we came up with these holes. So each hole houses 64 calls, and they are all automated using a really interesting P2P system where you actually don't have to configure the calls themselves except for adding the imprint in the machine. All, right. all the controllers are in uh, like a control room up in the tower. This also was a really unfinished area for a long time. We took some time and decorated it a little bit more uh, roughly a few weeks ago. I think there's a total of seven holes. Yeah, seven holes, and one of them is empty because we didn't really see what we should put in there. Uh, yeah. I think Hell the Palmcraft Tower was maybe next, possibly. Yeah, a lot of magic stuff happened during the sort of. Yeah, I'm just going to look at those. Building. And also the nano, nano board as well, probably same era as well. Go to A2 Drive Room. Oh no. What's it going to look like? I'm sure oh they probably just broke the drive and fucking spilled 10 trillion items on the floor. They found machines. People are just finding all the ways to grieve. Yeah, people keep finding these machines. I think you can just... Oh, oh there's a rocket launching as well. My ears. Uh, I can hear a massive rocket. <laughs> people are finding ways the, to... Like, I think mode? you can just open up open up PAs and just pull shit out of them, I think is the issue. Oh, so yeah. Just pulling probably. all the UMB machines from PAs. <laughs> Oh god, okay, let me yeah. put that into since like 8. I need to make my way to the Tomcraft Tower. Oh, actually, we didn't show the roads, really. The roads are pretty good as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh. they opened the quest chest, I think. Oh. Right. There's Taking also, the there was, trash oh out of there. god, these There's the biomet building. So this was like early UV, I think, to make the wetware circuits. It's kind of, hmm, I don't really like this building. It's kind of too simple, I think. But Oops, also, I the bio no, build. yeah, the bio building. I hmm. didn't really spend that long doing it as, uh, either, so very basic. Well, I you would started say. it and... Yeah, you started it, and then I kind of came along and helped you finish it and expand it. Yeah. With the extra. I did, 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 did the job. I did the house, the bio bats. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, let me turn it down. But we also always knew the bio building would be very temporary because the QFTs, pretty soon after you finish bios, you get QFTs eventually. And then that replaces all the lines, so. Actually, we had to add an extension to this area for the extra bio bats as well. Yeah, prior to, prior to getting the QFTs. We had, like, this building is amazing. It has five basements. If you like go outside and you look, you can see oh, there are yeah. five different layers of basements. One, two, this building three. is the most. Yeah. Oh god. It's also yeah. like sub basements within the basements, so it's like That's there's wild. like five layers of basements. This building is the most uh, fucked up one. Like it basically just became we want to use this as quick as possible and get it done. Like, no one likes doing yeah. the virus stuff. I think it's one of the weakest parts of GTA. Niche. It's very like tedious and not really likes doing it. And it gets no, I spent QFTs. hours getting all the Xenazine. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's terrible. Um, no one likes doing it. <laughs> what is the Nackfield next? Left in this I think Nackfield uh, actually wait. The B building, at, I guess. Did you look at oil proc and... Oh, no. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot the oil yeah, proc. Oil proc is pretty right early. Oil proc, oil proc. Um... Then yes, yeah, B B in research building was pretty soon after that. Yeah. My research Why did building was have pretty. Fuel in them? I forgot to unload them. Okay, let's see. How much have they broken this area? Can you TP me to Betania? Can't find it. Oh, God. Let's go Thank south. Emotions. And then when you reach on your left, there'll be like a green like elevator thing that takes you up. It's on top of that. You just keep going up. <laughs> that little building in the cliff. Rip Museum. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The museum's getting blown up because everyone keeps launching rockets and shit, and then they crash down, they explode. Well, they haven't really so broken anything fun. important, yeah. so it's fine. Bunch of well, railings. All the rockets are gone, though. Yeah, does it matter? I mean, the, I already oh. have to roll down a lot of life save, so it's going to be this exact world. I guess. Oh, no, wait. but still, people who want to come out and have a look. 
<laughs> oh god. The, the, the musical pattern. <laughs> oh, is it doing its thing? The sound is I so lag. It. Oh, oh no. Oh god. <laughs> did you take off the uh the the uh view blocker? I did. I, I unconcealed it. God. <laughs> My ears are just full of the rocket sound. It's so annoying. Oh right, yeah, I guess actually the town of what block? Wait, why can I still hear it? I'm so far away. What? There's a pattern that we somehow made. I don't know. A cloud made it at some point, but when you look at it, uh, it like it's because it's got a bunch of GT tools in it. It like plays the sounds even if it's just in your inventory. And then well, even funnier, probably need to is it plays the if you put it in a drawer? We're using the single use tools with Scenarium. That's it. Yeah. So Scenarium single-use tools, like they break after once. So they're good for like AE patterns, but they also play their sound whenever they like are opened in an interface terminal or in a pattern or something for some reason. It's like a bug with AE2, I guess. Uh, so yeah, and then we found out that a pattern that holds those tools, that has those tools in the pattern, also plays the sound when you like press Shift over it to like open the pattern. And then we found out that if you place it in in a in like a drawer in the world and you press Shift in the world. Like crouch, it also played that sound. So, yeah. it's kind Wait, of a desperation. Ever end up using the blood um, altar building? I guess we do have a blood altar at the bottom, but I don't remember us doing yes. blood magic. Yes. Yeah. No. Um. We. I use the blood altar building mostly for the ECs. Uh. There's also um. They use yeah the ECs as well. They're pretty important. For power plant. What's a power plant? Point to eye of harmony. What do you mean by power plant? You mean like the energy district, the original one with like the Knackfield Tower and stuff? That's just south from the main tower. You go down the south path. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Smash itself into the ground. I don't if you think mean the current Eye of Harmony field. There's the Tomcraft uh, Tower. Like I actually have no idea what's in here. I never went through this area myself. Not much. It's pretty <laughs> empty. He made a lot of space and didn't actually make that much stuff in there. You know, the story is pretty cool. Oh though. my god, people keep placing fucking machines everywhere. They took all the Jägermeister. <laughs> oh my lord. Of course. That's why wouldn't they? Uh, There's all the infusions uh, somewhere here. And I need to do the other proc first. Oh, yeah, here's the infusion. Right, yeah. I think she automated infusion with like open computers. Yeah, it seems to be still running. Yeah, he used some weird open computers, work accelerator thing, but it was still apparently kind of slow. Like it was still like one second per infusion recipe or something. He tried to get it to be like sub tick, but it wasn't really possible apparently. It's fast enough for now. It was it fast made enough. Everything yeah. we need. It made the octuple it, compressed solar panel. It did. <laughs> did one. you show the nano forge building, Samsung? No, that's not yet. It's very late. Oh, okay. I'll go to the. And he was building it pretty um, early, but I guess it didn't get used till the oil while. proc now. Oil proc, yes, that was probably the least cooked building in the base. Yeah. As it, sorry, least like it. Hey, least GPS is like eight just... now. I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, ten. Point five, eleven. Okay. I think it's clear. Oil proc is will... like the exterior yeah. of the oil proc is really nice. I think it's just a shame the interior yeah. really materialized. Again, I'm good at exteriors, not good at interiors. You'll find that's a theme across a lot of my builds. I can make a really cool design on the outside, and the inside is just blank because I have no idea what to do. <laughs> um, I think this had like this it used to have the initial oil processing with like normal DTs, but we moved oh, that to yeah, Megos and blue. then we replaced this thing with. Uh, like, what does this thing even do? I think it's yeah, there's paralyzed oven, so this makes like the xenoxine, I think. I think this helped with Xenozine or something. It was making it, yeah. It's a whole bunch of pyrolyzers were doing something. I'm not exactly sure. I got told to put pyrolyzers here. I put them <laughs> here. And then there's like a whole fluid extractor setup thing here, I think. Uh, yeah, fluid extractors and... Yeah, probably makes sense. I, I don't exactly know. Now we have switched to this QFT stuff. Uh, I then don't remember when we made up. the initial passive building. But um, this was kind of a weird one. Like, we barely used this, and it was outdated by the time we had built it almost. Which passive building? The one oh, that had the, like, yeah. 
like the EBS. Yeah, was that one passive. was weird. Yeah. You because you're adamant of having like a bunch of passive smelting, but we didn't have enough like resources or energy to run in mega ABF. So you're like, yeah, let's just do all of it in regular ABFs, and we'll just keep tearing them up, and then <laughs> we built this building. Yeah, and then, and then this yeah, was the obsolete uh, instantly. Mostly, this basically just became the passive processing for Naquita fuel. Mostly, yeah, that's pretty much all you ever did in here. I think that was next stuff, actually. Like, let's go to the actual building. So we ended up yeah. using Nac fuel for well, no. a really long research time. Research was next. Research was. Oh, next. actually, yeah. Let's go there. I guess bees. Actually, um, I and bees, the bee true. building. Just the whole south side basically was pretty early. I think you've kind of forgotten the order of things, but yeah. Yeah. I kind of love this area. Please. DPS is ten, so it should be fine. Yeah, I'm uh, loading. I think it's just your quiet. So. Server, please. Um, I can't see anything. Hmm. Maybe I feel too fast. Oh, there we go. What progress compared to the old world download? Well, yeah, the old world download was like, what was it? it was like UHV or something. Yeah, what old world? The old previous world download, like sort of open house showcase oh, download. Yeah, that was like, yeah, UHV or something. Yeah, that was UHV, and now we finished the game. It's quite a bit of progress. Yeah. Oh no! Hot <laughs> Star Fox died another planet. <laughs> uh, funny. Died of thermal protection. What is the sound? What sound? I hear a clicking sound. Clicking? Like a dispenser or something? Like redstone? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I also heard the hollow alarm. Oh no. I'm at an actual tower. So, yeah, this. Oh. Uh, I think we started using NAC fuel in UHV or UEV? Probably UEV. We started with tier 3. Yeah. So, we made this elaborate tower and I started making it and I realized this is not enough space. So, we just ended up having I the reactors it. here. You did make it. Yeah, I know you made it, but uh, I'm just saying I started making the next fuel inside it. And it was in the space. Yes. Yes. I yeah. I, well there was yeah. sort of. We ended up putting it up at the top. We had to kind of cram it in. It's a very jank yeah. setup. So like all the seventy five percent of everything is in the basement. This is probably the only basement I've actually made. This is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> this it was, it was rough. Across. But yeah, this thing did carry us to, to tier nine nine harmony, so I'm pretty happy happy about that. Problem is the building the NACFU requires a huge variety of a bunch of different multi blocks and they're all often quite big. It's kind of the issue. It's like it wants mega DTs, it wants mega vacuum freezes, it needs a bunch of PAs, implosion compressors, EBFs, the fucking fuel refineries. It's just a whole variety of a bunch of different buildings. So it's really hard to make like a cohesive building that fits it all. So we did just end up kind of deciding to dump most of it in the basement, put only the sort of least obtrusive buildings in the foyer kind of area. Um, We're yeah. here, we can take a look at the initial DDPF mixers. So to start the DDPFs, you have to kind of manually make a little bit of the DDPF catalyst initially before we can make the transcendent mixture. So we ended up making these pods and the pods have, were filled with LPFs, our mixing machines. And that did get us to the mixer, which actually we have replaced some of the pods with the mixers now. They fit in pretty nicely. And then we have flanking this area, we have the fusion reactor. All right. Goodbye, Rubik. Are you going, Sam? Oh, sorry, Rubik. I have a thing at 10. Unfortunately. Another question is how long would it take to get the base to full working order without loading a backup from this? Uh... <laughs> I don't even know what's hours. broken, honestly. I yeah. just deleted all of our assembly line patterns. So, um... Oh, you did that oh, no. <laughs> Every Why? Uh, and then research, you'd have to redo. Yeah. Like the data or the patterns themselves? Patterns themselves. Or the data as well. Why? But why? They're laggy. Right, but they have because these the... fusion tunnels. Um, you need 16 different ones to anyway. make the plasmas. So yeah. that's why there's so many. There's like one dedicated one for each. What was next? All oh, right, I still haven't shown the research building. 
guess bee building first. So Minecraft 771 did bees and he wanted a building. And I made a building in like a few hours and I was like, okay, here we go. And then just never returned to it. So it's like half finished. So this was the second time I tried out this hex designs. Like this could have definitely been like a cool building if I kind of refined it a bit more, but it ended up being a very um very plain. We just didn't really use it. Like we kind of had all the beams yeah. and then that was it. We just didn't ever come back to it. <laughs> we really need bees after the early game or mid game, I guess. Which building you hate the most? Yeah, we're only really using them for like uh -huh. uranium and infinity, right? That was it. I think the basement is probably the worst. <laughs> oh, Kevlar as well. I guess we use Kevlar. Beta is about it. <laughs> oh yeah. Spill the power generation <laughs> cords. How about no? Northwest. Um. But right across the road here, we have the research building, which we used for, or we initially made it for like farming, but we ended up placing the research station in there as well. Kind of fit the, uh, kind of fit the area. Nicely. Yeah. Yeah. It is, this is like my little, kind of like my, my little sort of child. I love it. It's like my, my favorite, pretty much retreat. my favorite building. Retreat. Yeah. Yeah. It's my little retreat. It's very like naturey. It's my design, like my sort of aesthetic. They're very naturalistic. You got like little research benches and breeding crop areas and, the, and all the little uh, industrial greenhouses built in. Very pleasant. It's kind of like a little kind of retreat, like waterfall pool area here. Yeah. There's a lot of eight also, quantum computers, which did take a few hours to research the Stargate parts, but uh, it got the job done. Yeah. What is this hole? Oh, by the way, if anyone recognizes the the hole, yeah. Oh, we just never really. We're gonna put shit down here, and it just never happened. So mm. it just kind of stayed. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of just an abyss, though. In the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's a huge waterfall uh, at the back here. Yeah, kind of acts as a window. Yeah, but I actually made like a legit waterfall that comes all the way up from up here. I mean, I never really made the waterfall like come from anywhere it just starts here but it does come all the way down and become a thing uh by the way if anyone in chat recognizes what the knackfuel tower was inspired from you earn infinite respect points from me <laughs> oh no because my beloved inspired off something mm. very specific actually while they're here um we needed more knackfuel area to make the mark six knackfuel that i added so we ended up mm. making a new tunnel for it here, but this was also very unfinished. We were like, we were intending to move all the Nakfield here uh, to this like peninsula, but um, we managed to get the Eye of Harmony before that really happened. So we could switch to that yeah, instead. Yeah, kind of what happened? Area is, like, completely this unfinished. is one of the this is one of the last things we built before we had like a a two month break or something between getting something. the first Eye of Harmony <laughs> and then the tier nine. My antibots are fucked. Oh. These are supposed oh, to glow. Unfortunately, I forgot to install that are they? Uh, texture pack. Oh, I can send you the re real quick. No, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. It's fine. Anyway, point this is... The entrance is really cool, yeah, though, was... but um, everything else is kind of yeah. unfinished. Like, this, this whole area had, like, really big potential. We had, like, ideas, like, having, like, a full, like, shipping dock, kind of, with, like, buildings that have, like, different knack fuel processing in them and stuff, and... There's a big tunnel here that sticks out of the mountain. Like we terraformed the entrance, so it was a big circle and it kind of fit. It was all looking really good. And then we just kind of left because we were kind of having a break. And then we came back and oh, tier nine I have harmony. Guess we don't need it anymore. <laughs> so it's twenty endermen in the Tomcraft building. I have no clue. I don't want to know. What's next? Probably the laser for um engravers, I think. Um Did you show the, just the regular fusion tunnels? The mega? I did, yeah. And the in the pods, I guess. They I were did. kind of shortly after. Okay. Um, we're yapping so high so you didn't yeah. realize. <laughs> wow, okay, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, laser engraver was probably next. That was I mean, that was actually kind of a bit before it. We're kind of we're kind of losing the timeline here. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, well. It's also been 250 days and we've kind of like, you know, <laughs> lost track of what happened. This was like, actually my initial two... test. Um, like this was proto universal where I kind of was uh, figuring out how to do mm. the cell swapping thing. So this is almost universal, yes. but it's not quite. This is a level emitter and I didn't quite do it. Our cycle by redstone. It's, uh, yeah. it's worked, but it only works for, for like things you can, you only need one item for. So it wasn't very scalable uh, to other machines, but it did but work fine quite, enough for me. So. Yes, yeah, so there will be a world download. But, uh, um, yeah, this power has unique, like the design wise. Yeah, it was pretty much built around the like the functionality of the um, machine tower. So there's 512 yeah. LPFs here, and they're all connected all through doing. one subnet, so they all work uh, on the same recipe. This was actually never a bottleneck. Like this, this mm. felt like it's faster, faster than what we needed. So overall, a very successful design. It's really like uh, a nice landmark in this kind of mountainous area. Yeah. Um, it, was, uh, it definitely had more potential this side of the map. We just never really kind of needed enough shit to go on this side of the map, so it kind of just never ended up being developed. I mean, the space elevator just kind of took up most of the. Random space. Yeah. Oh, that's actually next, um, maybe. <laughs> space elevators. Yeah, space we elevators. ended up spending quite long decorating the space elevator, and then we just never really integrated the terrain. So it's kind of well, no one ever really went to visit it. In. They were just hidden away. Yeah. yeah. I do like the decoration. Yeah, it like makes clean. it look like very, very clean. But um, yeah, yeah, it was a really just... sick design. We spent like a whole day on it. Yeah, and it just pasted them. Well. Pasted them on these uh, crevices. We spent ages doing this. We have like these like perfect like particle generators, and, like the perfect arc on them as well, so they kind of like yeah. curve up as well. And like we had like these like really cool designs for all of them, and yeah, it just ended up being kind of pointless in the end, which was a shame. Like it was it was really fun to design. It's really cool. I just think we should have put them in somewhere a bit more uh, sort of visible. I guess the point was that no one ever came to this side of the map, so no one ever saw them. And it was just kind of like oh. There you go. Any unique people join up so far? Let's have to take a look. So we oh, had okay, so it's 19, like I think. So there's been 84 people, I think. Already? Wow. Yeah. So we've been up for one and a half hours. Though. It's a little bit, a little bit low. Would it crash the server? Uh, starting to lose track. Ah, maybe the compass buildings? That wasn't too far out. Let me make it day. Why am I in adventure mode? Oh. Let's keep going. There we go. <laughs> day 17,000. <laughs> oh, wow. It's dystopian. <laughs> <laughs> it's so this building was actually days. Madman's only contribution in building wise. Actually, wait, no. He made the rocket launch platform, but that's great. Minimal. That was like a half a day project. It was very quick. Yeah, but this like this compass um, arrangement was made by Madman with my help, and then we ended up decorating this area a bit more afterwards uh, with Delano, and then we stacked it three times yeah. because we needed more space. But there's a total of eighty compasses here, which felt pretty fast. Which was never really a ball like taking the cake. Yeah, we we kind of did. Like oh right, I forgot the DTPF. True, but this was before DTPF though, so. Show that. This was definitely before DTPFs, yeah. yeah. The compass building was mostly just like the shape and layout by Madman. He didn't yeah. really do much design. Like we could have added all these like lights and pillars and walkways and like uh, all the texturing and plants and stuff. Like he didn't really do any of that. Which I, mean, I don't want to downplay his contribution. He did, you know, design it. I like the idea of the kind of yeah, like you're walking over the top of them and kind of like looking into them and seeing the machinery. But yeah. We had to do a lot to kind of integrate it and fix it up and make it a real building. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, nice building really though. Like it turned out pretty nicely. I like the kind of shocks the position with the middle section, which looks like very industrial and molly, like a, like a supermarket or something. Yeah. And then the exterior is like very um, peaceful and it's like a garden almost. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's really nice. I think the only thing we missed, we we just never really got to finish the kind of middle bit that kind of separates the two halves, which uh, kind of yeah, on, like true. a design. And then the front each end of it has like these kind of little kind of yeah, this section is very unfinished. Never really got, nothing here. Never got never got finished either. 
but that was just a product yeah. of not having time. There's many things in the space that just aren't finished because. All right, BDPFs next, I guess. Let me see if I can log this I area. So. so we kind of <laughs> decided to just make the entire DTP DTPF area for the rest of the game in one go. So we just kind of made this fake DTPF using like random blocks, and then we just copied that design 140 times. And we didn't end up using all the space. I think we have like 90 DTPFs and we have some space for 50 more almost. Yeah. Tips for maximizing the FPS top. late game. Um, buy a better PC and spread out. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's it. Oh, and host it on a server, on a dedicated server. Yeah, if you're playing single player, at the very worst, put it onto like its own server and connect locally to it. That at least runs it this more efficiently. It's so FPS annoying to load. This might it be is. like the most it's annoying thing because it's like, it's so tall, it's also so wide, so it's just horrible trying to load mm. the entire thing. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's really Next it's time. like a monolith. Although it's very, very simple, it really uh, relies heavily on the design of the DTPF for the floats. Yeah. Kind of a uh, it definitely thing. is probably the least decorated set of machines in the entire yeah. list, that's for sure. It really is just like a stack of DTPFs indefinitely stacked, and mm -hmm. then we just put a couple of like lathe strips that kind of go around it that kind of encase it. it that was it. There was no real actual design going on here. Yeah, we could have made like a cube um, where all the DTPs are shared, but um, we ended up having five towers that adds a little bit of design to it as well, with the middle yeah. tower being um, taller as well. But yeah, it's very simple overall. I tried designing these kind of like little pillars in the middle that send up the, the lasers, but I got, I sort of did them and then <laughs> I gave up halfway through because they were so fucking fiddly. I got yeah. bored and they were so fucking fiddly to deal with because the trying to work around ATs with world edit and stuff is just actual pain. So I kind of gave up. I didn't want to like interrupt the A to the DTPFC though. So it was just, yeah. I feel like the maintenance tunnels that lead up to this area are like more decorated. Where? Maintenance tunnels? Um, where the lasers oh, like come in from? The, like in the below. basements. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like this area has a pretty nice basement overall. I mean, it's empty, it's, but uh, uh, still. Can I find the way out of here? Oh, yeah, here it is. This, I think this is the individual, our longest strip of uninterrupted laser in our entire base. I think this goes on for like 600 blocks. Like, this connects oh, directly uh, to the main tower. This one? Wait, where is it? The laser that connects to the DPFs. Yeah, I'm trying to find where it, like where the tunnel is that goes. Oh, I like how all the ATs are missing their controller controllers somehow. What the hell? Wait, are they? Yeah. Oh. People try to grease. This one isn't. <laughs> Almost. Oh, well, I'd yeah. say they probably just blew up, right? Yeah. But they didn't cause any block damage. So mm -hmm. not necessarily people griefing, just oh, actually I guess while we we're back here, um we ended up kind of digging the entire basement of the main tower. I down to the bedrock, <laughs> and we just kept adding random machines here. Yeah, we I had this, this idea. Like, this is liquid it, helium. Like... Wait, what? These yeah. are new. I have so many ore washing plants. What? Wait, what more of them? God. What we had it? this idea to like dig out the entire basement of the world, like basically anything below what we're building, down to bedrock to save like frame rate and TPS. This is new. What the fuck? What is this doing? Yeah. I don't know. Here like a few days ago. Someone's got a boat. Our staff has got a boat sitting in the old wall. <laughs> Radon. What? Found a boat. Oh, this might be for making like, yeah, it's, uh, making the gravity stars or quantum stars, I think. Um, Omega can I the cloud actually stick together? Maybe. Something. Should I, I say I on the just, scanner who made these? Yeah, cameras? let's just tell it. Uh. Owner, yeah, cloud, cloud hacked yeah. this together. Yeah, All right. So you obviously have to see what I found that there's an issue with radon. Grab your stars. Mm. Yeah, but this basement next. is legendary because it basically every time we got a new like uh, a new kind of milestone in the pack, like we made our first nano forge, our first like compact fusion, I think a bunch of other stuff like that. It all went in the basement first for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> including like, the star every time something. Yeah, the first star. It may actually got built first in the basement down here. 
um yeah the, this basement is legendary it has had so it's had, like had so many setups been made torn down made new setups torn down like it's happened like four or five different times <laughs> so um, here's the yeah. kind of improved passive area as the initial one was too slow this thing has a ridiculous amount of these mega ebf vacuum freezer plus pa combos here which i used to kind of passive all the molten metals we needed on the game all the ABSs as well. However, it is one of the least cooked cook yeah. kind of designs. I really just needed this thing done, and so I just ended up making a quick fold edit of uh, this section. Yeah, it's very, like, very, it's very basic. That's why it's kind of also hit. Like, it makes a nice effect being at the bottom of the ocean, but I uh, don't go looking too close. <laughs> yeah, it's. It does yeah, also open up to the Mega DT area, which has no entrance otherwise, I think. This also actually has no entrance. But like, True, these <laughs> two areas are totally physics. isolated, technically. Yeah, you have to get in with a yeah, double um, really got So I spent a bunch of time, like, kind of prototyping this area, and it was very simple. It was supposed to be kind of like a concrete kind of, like, it was based on a concept art image I found. And it just didn't translate that well to Minecraft. And I think the problem was in the end that the mega DTs were just too big for me to like decorate around. Like they went way bigger than I thought they would because we're going from like bedrock all the way up to like 60, like they were like 60 blocks tall or something. So it was just way too big. Um, and so I never really like connected this area. And so we, we kind of made a bunch of mega DTs. A couple of them got used for making Radox and Xenazine and stuff. And then basically we just left this area because it was functional. And then by the time we needed anything else like this whole area became deprecated because of qfts i get out yeah. i'm stuck in here <laughs> yeah i made it out okay conceptually this room is really cool it's kind of like infinite concrete hall kind of just endlessly endless pillars and dts it just it was just too big for it to be nicely decorated and just not cooked enough like it just it's also running into some um clearance issues as the building is on top of it yes. started kind of cutting into the DTs. And and the front of it as well, actually. Like it got very close to the um crafts building in some locations. So I had to like stop it. I couldn't go too far. It uh yeah. Like used a lot of space underground. But yeah, not my finest build, that's for sure. <laughs> but luckily it's hidden underneath the ground and no one could go to it unless they're deliberately looking for it. Is it already out of harmony time? Um, did you so. look at all of Orproc? Yes. Yeah. Oh no, advanced order crafting first. Oh, cool, true. That's and nano good forge. One. And and advanced and nano. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go there. So we had this initial auto crafting building here, which had like one of each machine which definitely is not late game compatible. Um, so we ended <laughs> up making a new building in the northeast section of the base here, which had like multiple, um, multiple of this machi machine. This is also a really nice building. Like it turned out um, nice, both on the exterior and the interior, and also the functionality is very good. So there's the about, on the ground. I think 24 quads for each machine. Some have a half width, so they're like split between the two sides. And they are all automated using the universal automation. This was like the first time I actually used it on a large scale so on the full solidifiers. And there's like all the basic auto crafting like the wire mills, the vending machines. Um, for the wait, the laser engraver fluids are also here. Extruders, um, forming presses, macerators. I think they're all named here. Mixers are here as well. Extruder, macerator, yeah. What is this? Uh, implosion compressors, more implosion compressors, forge hammers, I think. And there's like miscellaneous stuff. This actually utilizes the, um, the universal to actually automate three different modes of the machine. <laughs> Soon enough. That's a nice trick you can do here. But yeah, this area turned out really nice. It's like we, we utilize the mufflers that point inwards as like a a smoke stack, so you can actually see the smoke coming up from here. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense right now, but when the machines are running, these little like central pieces have smoke coming through them. It's kind of cool to see the see them all running. I'm but, sure uh, they got uh, shown out exterior shot. 
Also, with high render distance, these are really cool because you can see the DTPF towers uh, in the ocean. So we have to go load those. Yeah. So we can do that. But it was weird. It was very undercooked for a long time, and then right at the end, we decided to just like finish up, and it became one of the nicer buildings in the base. Yeah. I think. I really like the end piece there, like the east section. A nice little yeah, park it's... style rock, swimming pool almost. Comfy. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty. It's a pretty comfy building overall. I think. I think it ended up pretty nice. Um, yeah. All right, now we can go to the uh, Harmonies. Actually, no, wait, uh, yeah, no, 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 no Forge. True, true. <laughs> Hardstyle Fox, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Chi spent hours in, like, single-player creative, cooking up the way to, like, most efficient Yeah, it's share wild them. how, like, you, how they're all shared. It's, like, inverted, like, quad wall shared, and then there's, like, upside-down inverted, like, quad wall shared as well. It's so weird. Uh, it was even weird for us to actually put the hatches down, like... Yeah. It was like breaking our brains, like where the actual. Probably the most complex uh, wall sharing I've ever seen, honestly. So there's 64 nano forges, 16 on each pillar, 8 on like each section, kind of here. And they're all wall shared. Um, so they have these like three different tiers. They have this kind of, I don't know what you would call it, like a pole. And then they have this helix inside. And somehow <laughs> all of these helixes are wall shared, so you can't even tell it's a helix. It's wild. Yeah, it's so weird. It just becomes this like weird clump. It's so strange. Yeah. I I don't know how he figured this out, but it actually works. It's actually yeah. weird though, because like when we built them, you have to like kind of like break and replace the controls or something to get them to realize. Or you have to like do something to the controls to make them realize that they were Wait, what? Like remember. Somebody plays like oh, you got spider here. here. And also, somebody Wait, plays where? rail tracks here. Oh. oh god. What? Why? Oh. Where is this? Music. What the fuck? I don't know. The Giga Chat token. It's stolen. The rails, okay. <laughs> Tile.railcraft.default.name. I see. Yes, indeed. Wait, also, TPS is 20. Hold up. How, how is TPS 20 all of a sudden? It was on like two earlier, I think, from people who were rolling <laughs> left. Yeah, maybe somebody was flying away and come, generating the chunks, possibly. Come to the come to the bottom of the like the come to the infinity mirror thing at the yeah. bottom. Is there like a cobweb here? What? This cobweb in the ground. Oh, there's like a hole in the glass as well, actually. Someone's been yeah. down here. Oh. Yeah. oh actually this area does kind of also lead to the um the space elevator basements. Because we had the space elevators while we were still using lasers, so we needed to somehow get power to this. So I just ended up making a massive hole. Oh. <laughs> what, yeah. Where am I? Hold up. Ah, uh, okay, great. I'm lost. <laughs> you just get like welded, like teleported back or something. What? Where am I? I found a tunnel in our base that I've never seen before. Oh, wait, this is a block building. Oh. What? Wait, what? Okay. Wow. Why is there Enderman everywhere? What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, people are trolling. He's in the back rooms. True. Uh. There, I killed them. Nice. Yeah, so we basically decided to hollow... Again, this was kind of like we had this idea of like hollowing out the entire world on anything below like Y, like 60 or 50 or something. And then just find my the way entire there. basement down there. But it never really ended up happening. Kind of problem was people kind of built into the basement in kind of individual areas, which then meant it, made it was harder to like wall it up. Uh, being right. a bit more awkward than the like. Yeah, it only ended up happening under the east section of the base, where we just have this yeah. ridiculously large basement that has nothing but ATs in it. It's yeah. Astro Miner in the museum of... ever get used. No, uh, you don't use the Astro Miner to get resources in New Horizons. Completely useless. No. This place the, is so uh, ridiculous and big. The wild. Yeah. You'll actually notice that anywhere underground, there's actually no ores at all. We at some point 
I think it was like I don't know in like UHV or something. We ran like a a world cleanup thing where we deleted all GT ores oh, and replaced true. stone. Yeah. So yes, I thought that might be lagging, but no, the ores do not, do not lag. But they, yeah, there's no ores under our entire base. Yeah. But yeah, our original goal was to just pour out the entire island basically underneath it, but it just never happened. Right now it's I have harmony time I think. I guess uh, I could change history a little bit and show the like the west side I have harmony first before I go to the fields. Ah uh, yeah I guess so. Kind of people who haven't seen it it's a bit of a surprise. The, the west and then seeing like seeing the west one and then seeing the the field afterwards is a bit of a you know, mind blow. Check this card for a second. And what? What's this? Okay, what's going on in Discord? <laughs> oh. Go is hard. It's a it's, it's Louis get, being stuck Pop inside out or desyncing through a wall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. All right, but here's the Eye of Harmony decoration, which unfortunately is missing the glow <laughs> because my um, undi blocks are not properly configured. But the, um, all of the today. sections here should be white. <laughs> right now it's Oh, do you want to stream real quick so you can no. have a you can show Mostly people. Mostly last scene, I'm sure. Um, Basically just the white glows in the middle. Yeah, but we spent like eight hours with three people decorating this thing <laughs> on stop. It was a, it was a big stream, like a big yeah. decoration. Yeah. So these three are actually kind of special eye of harmony because they have astral arrays in them. Um, so they produce all materials. The top one is for university, the middle one is for black dwarf matter, and the bottom one is for white dwarf matter but this like this area was very like uh, one of the last additions we added to the base here and kind of decorated this area nicely kind of feel feel in the swamp it's really pretty nice yeah, although like very, I, I feel like large blank area. it's still missing some things like <laughs> this floor here is very unfinished still floor's unfinished Floral. i had ideas of like doing like a grid pattern uh didn't really end up happening problem was just we paved over this right? entire swamp area that was actually yeah. kind of water previously, and it kind of helped break up that kind of big open area. And then when it got paved, it was like, oh, well, now there's just this huge paved area with nothing. So it's like, well, and then no one actually wanted to do anything to fix it. Right. Um, we did know that we we're going to need like a hundred Eye of Harmonies. Well, that was the plan at least. So, oh, okay. Nice. I'm also stuck on a wall now. Great. Ah, let me move. Game, please. What the fuck is Lewis loading GTA on a MacBook? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just stuck now. <laughs> Where are you stuck? A platform. A platform. Do you want me to TP you to me? No. I think I managed to get that. No, still stuck. <laughs> Keep oh well. Wow. I had the same problem Louis had. <laughs> oh, like do you like dropping through a block? Like do you thinking? Yeah, like, so you get reset yeah. back to your position. Wait, that's actually new. I'm not even inside a block and it's still happening. Right. Uh they were insanely laggy, but then the most recent 2.4, 2.5.0 fixed it. Sorry, yeah, 2.5.0 fixed it. Uh, they the renderer for the I have got rewritten so it doesn't cause lag, but it used to like halve your FPS for every single one. It was, it was pretty funny. But yeah, we just kind of made like hexagonal design for the I have decoration and then just stamped the thing um, over this field. So I think there's a total of 100 and maybe 105 slots for them, but we only ended up filling 60, 68 of them. That was the amount of I have we needed to get enough power to power the university and want to get. One gate every seven days or so. Because unlike most in-game bases, we're quite conservative with our power use. We weren't like yeah. doing overclocking things. We'd rather build parallels and build bigger, and rather than just. Like if you don't account spend. for the universum um, production, we could have made the gate with less than fifty and of harmonies, because like eighty-five percent of our power was going to making universum. So we only need like 15 or so, which is about 200 trillion EU per tick to craft a gate itself, which is like five times less than most people use. How many DTPS did yeah, you use for UMV gate? 
I don't even remember, like 30 or so, maybe less. Wait, uh, UMV gate, right, that's the last row. I think we had like 12 for space time, then like uh, another 12 for miscellaneous things, and then some six miscellaneous ones as well in another spot. So roughly 30 or so. Because space time was the last thing, there was no way, better way of getting access to the DTPF. But this field just keeps on going and going and going. You can see the minimap. Um, <laughs> This is a ridiculously large area of the uh, Isle of Harmonies. Kind of follows this like valley. It was a mangrove biome and it was just really ugly and I hated it. So I demanded that we just cover up the entire biome. It's like valley with the Eye of Harmony fields. So it's kind of nice because it kind of fits the shape of the, the area. Somebody touched the beams inside the Eye of Harmonies and fucked them up. Oh god. <laughs> uh... Which ones? Uh, I don't know, I just stumbled upon it randomly, one of the Alp Harmonies. Oh, there's like 70 of them. I don't think they can do all of them. Yeah. If they do, then, well, fuck you, whatever. But it's also, we, we're intending to put uh, Neon in the gaps here, and also gonna have height variation between this, but we just kind of said fuck it, and ended up not doing that, as there were so many of them. And like, who's yeah, gonna be there the anyways? Ones. Yeah, like the first couple of dozen of them in this sort of starting area where we first started making them, there's like everyone's got high variation. They've got this kind of like neon that goes between them. It kind of divides them up and it was like really cool. And then we kind of got to a point where we needed like 50 more Eye of Harmonies. And Sam was like, well, I'm not doing that. And just started spamming them all at the same height and just went, yeah, fuck it, whatever. No one's going down here ever again. I think we went over all the buildings. Of course, some of the miscellaneous things like the dam here, which is kind of part of the orc rock. I didn't go over. Um, this. Wait, no, the museum, of course. That's I'm going to have to end with that. Oh, and the QFT building, yeah. I completely forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, QFT is actually before I have homies. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Actually, the building yeah, didn't, though. We, gets... had the, uh, we had the building built only after we had tier 99 of Harmony. Uh, true, like actually, yeah, properly back and I it. Yeah. yeah, that building didn't get much love. It got a bit. I actually got Mudsport to make a cool sign for it, but it ended up just being like the whole building was just kind of underloved in the end. But it's actually a, yeah, it's a diagonal sign made out of little tiles. So you can kind of see the little tiles if you go really close up to it. It's very, yeah, deceptive. It's really cool. Also, these look like shit without my anti block thing. They really uh, rely on the anti block neon. Oh, do they not glow? No, they don't. Oh, the... Yeah, okay, right, I get it. But no, actually, I spent heaps of time on the, uh, kind of, the the walkway promenade, the curved walkway. Like, I really liked this kind of, like, natural curve on the waterfront kind of thing. And I spent ages doing that, getting it to <laughs> just be just right and putting lights and everything. And it feels very kind of modern and realistic. And then the QFT building is kind of a bit too big because I actually wanted it to be a lot shorter initially. Um, but Samsa was insistent on stacking the QFTs. I think that was the other. right call as well. Uh, it's cool. The structure of the QFT would... is very, very dumb. Um, I... It's so bottom heavy I think... that they, uh, like having two of them kind of works better. I think what I would have done is. If I was to go again, I'd probably put them sideways. I'd, I'd still keep them like double stacked, but I'd put them sideways, not upwards. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, oh, but then, <laughs> then the B or the force fields look fucked up. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, that's right. You can't do that. Maybe I would have sucked them into the ground or something. Maybe. So, like, maybe they only peak up like halfway or something. I don't know. I, it, whatever we do next time, there'll probably be a better solution. I mean, but the QFT building connects nicely to the cross area. I really like this connection here. Yeah, it kind of coincidentally happened because we needed more. The press building actually only until very recently was like three sections shorter or something, or two sections shorter. Um, no, one section only shorter. One, only one section fun. shorter, yeah. Yeah. And uh, then I was kind of digging out one more section to add another layer of presses for the final Stargate craft because we needed more crafting. And then I noticed I basically dug into the of T basement was like, huh, interesting. 
we decided to just integrate it and connect them up. So now it's kind of like a stairway walkway thing. It's pretty cool. Right. That's all the buildings except for the museum now, I think. The museum is actually pretty big on the map. You can see it's like bigger than most of the buildings around the central tower. The museum was pretty cool to build. It was really good fun. Like it was kind of like yeah. the last kind of fun project we got to do. Like, cause, you know, we did, a lot of our buildings we didn't really get to build for fun. It was kind of like just, oh, we have to build something. And so we had to go and build it. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was kind of like just go fast. But this was like, we had a bit of time. We knew what we kind no, of wanted. The flooring, about the it. lamps look weird. The underbox have borders. Yeah. <laughs> also, people, someone put a drum here and two right. Thorncraft golems. Okay. But yeah, there's some like, some quotes from all the players and also the leaderboards for time played. I'm handily yeah. leading it. <laughs> I'm fourth, but only because I didn't abuse AFK. I never went AFK once. Like, I yeah, I mean, probably AFK for like 300 hours. hours or more. Rubix is just left the game overnight. I had to AFK. kick him every time I logged yeah. in. <laughs> I never AFK'd at all. So my hours are legitimate. Like, that's 519 real gameplay hours. That's not like AFK watching YouTube or anything. That's actual playtime. Adam's quote, yeah. Adam was our minor early on. You know, it's seen during stream. Like, Nolin was here in the earlier streams, but uh, he's, I think, 10 hours behind me. Um, and also, he managed to get a job um, like mid midway through the, um, through the streams. So he basically never could play when I was streaming. Yeah, he got like a very important like banking, counting sort of job thing. So he had no time to like fuck around with duty and H during the day um, for him. So, yeah. Wait, why is it it's missing? Up Somebody clear this out. Fuck. Whose quote was this in the end? Oh, explosions, right? Yeah, in the oh. text card. Oh, I just got to it's off. off. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yes, the explosion count. Quite funny. Yeah, I had the most explosions. I also did the most tech, so. <laughs> yeah, I had three explosions, various. Uh, QF, uh, not QFT, sorry. Uh, there was one active transformer incident and two the fixed water incident. incidents. The fixed water incident. Oh, yes. And then the server bricks. <laughs> I have the most server bricks, technically. Uh, that was one was a fixed water. So there's a world edit command where you select a regional water or something. And then you do like slash slash fixed water. And apparently, like, it turns all the flowing water into like uh, regular water. It's supposed to fix like fucked up water. But it's for some reason, it just kind of indefinitely spread. And it basically flooded the entire server and it went down to like 0 0.1 TPS and it kept spawning new water and then like trying to change it into regular water and then it would flow and then try and fix it, which is this cascading wall of water, like it encompassed the entire server. So that was a, a lovely brick into a rollback. Uh, the machine from original base completed? Nope. That's going to be another like two years before it's done. <laughs> But yeah, you can kind of see that we actually, it's just pretty close uh, on the playtime and the server uptime, so. Yeah, but there wasn't actually that much just kind of like everyone AFKing waiting for stuff. Like usually someone was on doing something at the very least, like either pseudo AFKing, like looking after stuff or actually doing something. There's some um, timings for things. But yeah, the, the, us getting A2 in four days is pretty crazy. That was a really big moment. The way that we rushed that so like it was such a such like a, a like a showcase of the expertise of stargate players this week we everyone knew like how to get to like overall you're getting to so umv like, in six seven days is also really good but then it's just really yeah. slowed down after getting the tier one if harmony everybody's kind of burnt out we lost most of the players by then and then cloud basically just grinded for 80 days on his own or 75 days on his own and we came back to the tier yeah. nine of harmony after playing some factorio so it was funny, actually. So yeah, we got to, so we sort of, we were dwindling players as we got there. We got to UMV and Samsa and I and Lynn and Rubik's were pretty much the only ones left at this point who were really playing at all. And we all sort of all lost a bit of, inspo, sort of inspiration. So we decided to go play Factorio. Then Cloud actually came back. He hadn't been playing for months, I think, at that point. He'd been like doing something else, like on his own world. He'd been getting his own Stargate. And then basically the moment we left, he'd just gotten his Stargate and he's like, well, I guess I'm going to play. So he hopped on and basically did the entire like tier one to tier nine. I have hardly grind. And he actually we did one hundred percent quest book completion. I think not the Stargate. He had the Stargate for a long time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, 
you know, he was doing, yeah, 100% completion. So he basically was perfecting his world. And then by the time he finished it, like, we had just left. It was just kind of this unfortunate timing. So then he grinded so many hours, in, like about a two-month period of time where we were all playing different games for a bit. Um, but yeah, Cloud actually was barely there in sort of the early days. Like, he was there a bit, but not nearly as much. It's quite funny. Um, uh, yeah. These statistics are pretty fun, though. Like, we have 90,000 correct text time entities. It's ridiculous how many you have. That, like, it, that does count all the cables as well, I think. Everything can, basically can take um, like a cover. But That's still, 90,000 is an insane amount of things. You have to take every tick almost. 15 Pesha fluid as well. That's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Pesha bites or something, I guess. Well, you know, just pet pet leaders. Pet leaders, yeah. A lot. The talents don't tick. Well, that's the ticking ones. I mean, they do tick. How else would they update? <laughs> tick just pings as often. Or... We have some more quotes here. <laughs> Blue played quite a lot Blue's, um, oh. originally, but uh, he started. Uh, he lost his account at some point. He was going to just burn it out, I think, and that started doing more um, death things yeah. instead. Blue was really he was really good early on. He did a lot, and then yeah, he kind of started burning out at the same time. He got really focused on working on mutes. Him and Minecraft as well, actually. Minecraft hasn't come back in ages with seven, Minecraft seven 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 one. He, uh, he actually did heaps in it. He basically carried our entire B progress. Like, he did all the Bs, got us all the resources in the early game. Um, shame he never, he never really sort of hopped back on to I write any Bs. It's a Stargate like, role. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, uh, when I say Greg Tech tile entities, I mean, like, these machines, the blocks that kind of have covers on them, for example. Actually, to the extent the, like, the Greg Tech, um, Frames, for example. So they, these definitely do tick because they actually do things. Yeah, Blue was definitely integral, and so was Minecraft. They were integral to the run. They just um, unfortunately they just burnt out kind of a bit too early, and they never really came back during the sort of final push. We did put out like, like you know we tried to get all the ballers that wanted to actually come back. You know, we sort of tried to encourage people, but it just burnt out. Like that's fair. Five or so also they were this. Okay. Uh, well, I used Opis to check the things ones. that actually do tick. So all the ticking tile entities are in that number, not the ours. So wait, somebody actually managed to place the Astro Miner. Hold up, what? Oh, I did ah. that before oh. the server changed. Yeah, I did this last night or the night before. All right, yeah, I spawned <laughs> in the, the Astro What's with the base. texture? <laughs> it's so bad. It's weird. Don't, don't activate it. It's gonna dig shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this museum is just full of random it. things people built over the uh, playthrough. <laughs> the yeah, drill so over here. Chi especially had this thing where he'd just, like, when no one was noticing, or, like, he was just in the middle of something, he'd just, like, take a break, and he'd just go and hide somewhere and build, like, a random design somewhere. Just, like, a funny little design. He started making all these, like, industrial, like, <laughs> diggers and trucks and stuff. Bulldozers. Um, I think Minecraft made one of these in the end. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> the initial base we took uh, brought yes. over the LV machine stack copy, and the yeah, or project exactly. under it. Copy wait, the or wait, it's still running. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, it's just it's like a uh, texture bug. Yeah. yeah, it's got no steam. But uh, yeah, the uh, this was I copy and pasted this. This was like the original machine stack that got us to like EV basically. Like so many machines, like things got processed in here. Wow. Well, this so the correct uh, tile entities don't take every tick. They definitely do. If you have a machine, it definitely does update itself every tick. So we had a bunch of rockets here. We had all the tier one to nine rockets or tier one to eight rockets, but people have launched them all. So now you don't get to see them. People have been griefing by placing super tanks with water. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we got the Pac-Man that she built. Oh, have, this was like in the mid game base as well. What else was for the mid game yes, base? This... Nothing really. I think everything uh, else was in the new base. Yeah, everything else was. 
We have the uh, Amogus. This was actually extracted uh, <laughs> during the construction of the Nano Forge. We had to dig out a whole bunch, like huge area for it. And uh, she and I found this, and I went. I merely grabbed it and preserved it, and it was sitting up against this mountain for like 200 days, basically. <laughs> waiting for the museum to be built and then it finally got built and samsa it was like the first thing when the museum was samsa put this in here <laughs> great the blood factory that went over at orproc she made this while i was building orproc he came over and was like he just sneakily built this somewhere <laughs> just fiddling with the uh, with particle generators a lot of the uh, designs are kind of just fiddling with particle generators in fun ways. Yeah, we did we the use them quite obviously. a lot. I'm actually, I, one of the first things we did with them was the um, fusion reactor area thing. Pretty cool. Yes. Having all those like bloopy like dots is pretty cool. Oh, there's the uh, the magical. Sorry, the uh, super eggs extra exit base exit. Oh, that was I don't know if it was there. To see yeah, you gotta show it off. <laughs> I don't. That's why it's open house. Um, Everybody can go find it themselves. <laughs> true. And then there was the trash lake, which I brought over as well. The this was the very original base as well. Like day, like basically one to five. Samsung had, had a reputation for sorting out all the chests and throwing out everything uh, that he didn't think was appropriate or like you know needed. And it, it culminated with him and ended up throwing away a pyrolyzed oven that we actually really needed and that we spent ages crafting. <laughs> uh, so that lake kind of ended up with so much trash in it that it was kind of obscene. Yeah. And Lin ended up putting a vacuum um, hopper at the bottom of the lake so he could <laughs> sort out the trash I had thrown away before. Yeah. Because there was times that he needed something that had been thrown away. It was quite funny. But uh, that lake became kind of famous. I think that's all the buildings we have in the base. There's, of course, there are some like interior pieces I might have missed, but that's it. Uh, all the buildings. Oh, the doors, door funland. Oh, yeah, sure. This was the funniest thing that happened. It was like day three. I lost it. There's like a bottom me, like a cliff of it. These doors got me. I was like so tired. It was like six a.m. I was just so tired, and this, I was so unexpected. <laughs> These fucking doors. <laughs> It's so dumb. So, uh, these are the down down well done available. Yes, it will be on my Discord after I close down this, um, the server tomorrow. Oh, yeah, the Discord yeah, wall. Well well. I, oh, I, yeah, I made this. I think I made this like did. in the mid game base. It was in the lobby, yeah, the atrium lobby. Yeah, it's good it's, it's a shame the reflections yeah. are really hard to get, like looking good because of the way the um, sub, what's the name for it? The screen space reflections don't really work when you're yes. facing it directly. Yeah, kind of a shame. Fortunately, but we need RTX for that. <laughs> I download your role, does it make me a Stargate yeah. player? No, that makes you a poster if you try to get the Stargate role by posting pic pictures of my base. I feel like everybody knows <laughs> about this base at this point, so if you try to make sell it as yours, it's going to be a lot away from the Discord. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this was quite a journey. It was remarkable. I learned a lot during this run. A lot of technical stuff, a lot of building techniques. But yes, the the world download will be uh, sort of prior to the server to the um, open house, so it won't be all griefed. It'll be yeah. sort of intact as it was before. You don't have to worry about that. So you might have to use FTBU or disable explosions, otherwise the ATs might go boom when they are crushing chunks. Mm -hmm. I guess to be used probably preferable. But I guess both, yeah. Because there are as you can see in the in the board in our statistics, we do have some three thousand chunks loaded. Yeah, three point three, I think. What was it? Right, the threefold yeah. logo as well. Ah, uh, yes. So this we was first back when threefold like stopped playing New Horizons, so it was like a tribute to yeah. him. And then he came back, and another like... tribute is 
Um, I don't know what it is even anymore. It's, uh, it's the owner of him coming back, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was quite funny. He, uh, like I say, he was kind of like in the midst of his series. Like he was right in the weeds of it. He was having a good time playing during while sort of our run was starting. Um, I think he was on like day like 10 or something. I don't know. He was pretty early on in his run when we started. And then, yeah, sort of about 15, 20 days in or something after that. So I think it was around like episode 40 or something. He quit about like day 30 for us or day 25 or something. Quit and we like sort of built this, I guess, to kind of say rest in peace. I don't think Freefold has logged in. I don't see him here. So at least he hasn't been here yet. I don't think he even knows about us, honestly. No, he's been in my chat a few times. Oh, okay. That's surprising. I guess he, he doesn't really keep up to say that. I don't think he's in your Discord, and I don't think he really sits around on the main Discord too much, so he probably doesn't even know this is happening. Or he's in the main Discord. He's, he talks there some, sometimes. You're just talking under your ass, being your daily clueless. <laughs> well, no, but I'm just like, I don't think he sits around that much. Like, I'm saying he's not like one of those people that sits in the Discord 24 7, always talking. Yeah, there's like 40 people that are like that. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. There's quite a few people who were like pretty active in there, like they talk in general and stuff. Like I don't think I've ever seen him talk in general. Like I think he's mostly in like help or because other things. You're, not, you're just never talking in general, so you just never wa- watch the, the space. I see him like at least a dozen times. Really? Yeah. There you go then. Oh, I'll actually anyway. gate soon. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I uh, doesn't have like one eye of harmony. Show me the gate. It took us fifty uh, days no, to go from tier his... nine um to the gate. He just built his second Eye of Harmony, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. So only 49 days ago. Hello, Diddy. How's Open House? Um, the first 30 minutes were a complete chaos. I forgot to disable AT explosions, so the entire base exploded, so I had to restart a backup. And after that, um, Rubik's decided to give everyone a sip of grenade juice, so they just started blowing off the entire base by killing themselves. So I had to reload another backup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the third sort of time actually to grief. Yeah. People in like finding random chests and machines that have shit in them and like breaking, placing random blocks everywhere, like fucking rails and machines from inside uh, PAs. And people can break the uh, glass blocks in adventure mode, so they're going around using that and breaking into places and placing blocks. And, yeah. Whatever right, the gate's still open. <laughs> Should I close the iris just to troll? Oh, yeah. that, <laughs> they broke the entire floor of the like the um, gate area. Oh, that was useful. <laughs> okay, right, funny, uh, very funny. funny. Yeah, very place, funny. I guess. But yeah, we had actually. Let's see how many people have we had so far. Like one hundred and seven people have visited already in two hours. Pretty good. Did he manage to crash the server like lag wise? No, I was pretty close though. <laughs> he had like 0. 0.5 DPS at some points. Well, it's it's like holding up pretty well. Points. Like 5 DPS is totally playable. I mean, those are almost 18 at some points as well. And of course, it's going to be yeah. lagging with so many people online, but uh, overall, server seems to be holding up pretty well. I didn't even need to do my secondary instance. Yeah, uh, I'm going pretty well. We just finished the tour. We did, literally just finished. Yeah, I went over all the buildings. Chronological order to tell the story. Yeah. Still need to record the like, showcase. I think we might skip a few buildings from the showcase. Like, I don't really want to show the really unfinished ones to show the best ones, I think. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. You probably skip, like, uh, the interiors of a lot of buildings as well, the ones that aren't really finished, but to show the yeah. exteriors. Like, oil proc has great exterior, terrible interior. Maybe skip like the original oil uh, cam processing building. And... You even have like an exterior shot of most areas, but uh... yeah, like I probably wouldn't. I, show don't, I don't want to show uh, the AL building from the actually. <laughs> I don't know if I want to show the exterior of the AL building because the interior is the main part there. So. I don't know. Just like choose yeah. the best spots and um, show those. And like like the exterior only of the bio building. Like I would not go inside in that. Building. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah. 
Yeah, this base definitely we had way more we wanted to do. We, we had like a much bigger plans. So we just ran out of time and motivation. Like there's so much here. It really is a lot. Again, this was 250 days of gameplay. Like 500 hours just for me. Keeps adding more and more days. It's just too, it was more like 160 days of gameplay. Well, I suppose, yeah, technically. I think there's about 130 episodes um, on my YouTube. Mm. Just be, I did have like a few uh, weeks where I wasn't playing in the early as well. True. You had like the military thing as well. You had to do it at some yeah. point. A couple of times. Um, it's online not on. Uh, yes. You, I don't think you can join if you have a cracked account. The, uh, like, yeah, it was really fun, but it just, it wears you down. I think also the part of the issue was we originally slated for having six builders to run. Yeah, that was kind of ended up having like 2.5, is that? It's pretty rough. Yeah. It was basically me and Sam, so she did most of the magic stuff and kind of just assisted here this? and there, but it wasn't like sort of integral to the construction. And that was it. Like, Mud did a building, Mad did a building. Everything else was done by me and Sam, so it was just like, there were periods there where we were just smashing out buildings like daily because we just needed spaces to put machines. And people were like complaining. That electric locomotive. And... What the hell? <laughs> probably got it from um, Rubix's chest. Cause yeah, he probably. Open his uh, Emporium chest and there's just heaps of random shit in there they can grab and greet with. But no, mm -hmm. uh, next time we will not be making that same mistake. We will be getting more dedicated builders, people who we know will actually build and. How are we going to do that? We're like, hmm? How are we going to do that? How are you going to know, know. who's dedicated and who's not before you actually play with them? Well, I don't know. You vet them? Maybe do some test runs or something? I don't know. I'm not going to play for three months before figuring out if I can play with them. No, but I mean, it sounds like a full test run. I'm just saying like, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So why are you saying it? I don't know, there's, I mean, you can kind of tell that, like, I mean, Mud wasn't particularly committed in the first place, I recall. It was initially when I made the Stargate first time around. So, like, yeah, first time. Yeah, so but, but, like, what, what the hell? Specifically, wasn't he, no, 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 but wasn't he saying in the balls, like, in the original balls run chat, he was like talking about how he wasn't, like, necessarily committed to it, like, he was busy or whatever, right? I remember. But you can never know who will or rather who won't, so you can't really vet people like that. It's less about burnout, more about not even showing up. Like, Mad Men didn't show up really at all very much until, like, you know, like 30 days in or something. <laughs> and then built one thing and then disappeared again. And we haven't seen him since. <laughs> so next time, yeah, like in a year or so, maybe, after Mutes, I was going to be playing again before that. Don't see any point. Just yeah. nothing's gonna be different. Or I well, I guess I could use all the meta strategies and see how fast we can do it, but I don't really find that fun. Like the over half of the game, game is just building for me, so speed running is kind of cringe if you do that only. It's yeah, I don't really see the point in speed running GTNH. I think like there's so many other packs you can do where you can just speed run and lawn base and stuff, and they're probably just as fun to do. But GTNH is like the only pack in the in the, the world, pretty much, that gives you the opportunity to build like this and have it mean something. It's like no pack takes 250 days to complete with a full team, like going ham on it, you know? Like, that, that's, that's like, that just doesn't exist. So, like, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't play GTNH without building. And I'm pretty much the opposite in every other pack. I don't play any other pack with building because there's no fucking point because I finish it in like a, a week. Yeah, well. No point building them. So far, the server's been up for almost two hours without anything majorly breaking. So I hope I can leave it for yeah. another 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, should be good. I'm just waiting for like the DMs like 10 hours from now where it's like at Samsung and it's just like someone's detonated the entire server. They found some exploit. It's like, ah. This yeah. Stargate seems to be still working so people can actually get out from the spawn room. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, the uh, yeah, so next run will be probably at least a year's time, if not more. It will be when Mutes are out and also when Angelica is like fully finished yeah. and implemented. Yeah, Angelica is going to be big, big because killer. the main thing on this base was spreading out everything so we can have 
a little bit of FPS in most areas. But Angelica should allow us to build a lot more dense, which means we can actually make like interconnected buildings and vertical towers, which would be a very nice change for the overall look of the base. You'll know you'll see in like Samson's other two build, like other two Stargate save, like major ones, the Neo Kylestia saves, like they they are all much more clustered and uh, sort of tall buildings, multi level floors, and that sort of thing. We specifically avoided that in this run. Um, but it was a cool experiment, but I don't think it worked out as well as we kind of hoped, I think. Um, you would need to spend a lot more time terraforming and making it look natural if you want this kind of space to really like pop out in all areas instead of just yeah. like individual buildings. I think our other mistake was doing um, extreme terrain. It was fun for integrating buildings into, but at the same time, it yeah, also... Yeah, it does hide a lot of it. Everything was very well. separated. Yeah. yeah. Everything felt very separated from each other. I think that's why this middle section is my favorite area uh, because everything is like very interconnected here because of the terrain being kind of, kind of this um, area between the cliffs. Which middle area? The central tower area of the buildings. Because yeah. I, well, that's the only area we have these buildings so close to each other as well. So you get the interconnected yeah. as well. I think we should start again, want, like... but said there wouldn't uh is that there wouldn't be anything new for months, so we'll wait for a while. Why does he want to start again? Like get the gates first. <laughs> who doesn't who wants to start again? Sorry? Patty. The person did oh, uh Patty. did he's playing with. Yeah. Right. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looks like Razor Rain actually came back. He's restarting his server. Might <laughs> increase the FPS. Star Fox detonated. Left the game. Oh what? Uh oh. Oh what? Hardstyle Fox detonated and then he left the game. <laughs> How does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's been like two months. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I do see a lot of people restarting right away after getting gay. But like, I already did it once myself. And that was with new Eye of Harmony being added, so it was different this time around. But yeah, I. Personally, don't see the point in restarting if you're like not even gonna build a better base or anything. It's gonna long base anyways. Yeah, I, I it's gonna do the exact me. same thing again. Uh, what's the point? Especially if you're not gonna change anything. If you play the exact same way, you probably just gonna, like you know abuse. Of course, you will have learned more things, but like you can do things more efficiently. But uh, in the end, there's gonna be the same things you're gonna be doing, just kind of faster. That's about it. Like GTA is great, but it's I don't know, it's not that replayable without the huge updates to kind of make the game harder and better quality of life and so forth. You really like this this view. It is. It is really kind of dark, but yeah, not the gate you can barely see down there. <laughs> nice. Someone else died to the <laughs> yes. Yeah, Hard to death. <laughs> Starved to death and someone was torn apart by Event Horizon. Love it. Oh, that <laughs> died at the gate opening. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, such a yeah. good screenshot here. The reflections from the water. So good. This base was sweet. I do love it. But uh, I do look forward to building a better base next time. Like, yeah, like well, imagine in this, this central area, but there's three times more buildings in this, like, in the view. Yeah. It's so good. And everything's actually like a skyline, like detailed maybe. and interconnected. Yeah. Oh, Anno 1800 skyline effect. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, good. Optimize. We're going to have smaller buildings and bigger buildings to make the bigger buildings happy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Stargate rules. Yes, you need two gates for the roll. Yes, they need to be connected. Um, and also, and updated rules. Slag a lot more. Yes, but that's far, where Angelica comes in, which should increase FPS a lot. And if, again, being clueless, it's two extra gates for every three players, I believe. Actually, it's one extra gate, but it's it's every three instead of two. Oh, three. Yeah, so it's a pair. So it's a pair of gates for every three people, right? I think so. 
maybe. Right. It might have been one extra gauge every chief he was small. <laughs> oh, so only, only a half. Deleno. Ah, uh, yes, Deleno. Can I can I sell you off to uh, Didi's group to build? <laughs> oh, for Patty and Didi. Uh, <laughs> what region they? Oh <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's gonna be even worse. It's gonna be North uh, North America. Ugh. <laughs> no, I've already been. Um, if I'm playing GT and H again, I've been picked up by the Australia OCE crew. They've, oh yeah, uh, Lord Peverell and um, uh, who else is there? Lord Peverell on by me, but it was also. I think this Discord's run by Elac, Elac ninety three, and other people. His demands are being passed around. I think he's being willfully passed around between two places. But, uh, I'm not selling his him off. Well, my allegiance is always number one to Sam's. Like, if he requests me to come build, I will be building. But uh, outside that, I'm free to do what I want. I have my own single player world. I was, I was working on as well prior to this run. I got up to like LUB. I was doing pretty well. I was building a lot. Sort of, you can see some of my uh, early screenshot art posts. There's like a screenshot from my original base of my base, uh, single player. Uh, so I'll either go back to that or I'll go play the Australia OCE server. Which will uh, I'll probably join either Lord Peveril or maybe some other team there or something. So I don't really have any desire to farm another fucking Stargate role. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was fun doing this, but I really mostly enjoyed the building rather than actually like playing Great Tech. Like, Great Tech is fun. I love it. But I still just really enjoy the building. Like, no other pack gives me a chance to build like this. Like, I just don't see any point. I'm like, I agree with Sam 100%. Like, there's no other pack where there's actually a point. To building something like this that it's gonna last more than like a week or two i mean the only packs come close yeah. is uh meatball craft which is designed to kind of be like like fun but also very long term like a lot of content and not just filler but that is only developed by one dude and it's like he's doing a really good job but it, the, the, the t having one dude versus an entire team of like experienced people who've been doing it for a decade now like this pack started in like what 2014 or something 2015 like one dude starting like i don't know a couple of years ago so obviously gt has got way more content um so i would build on that pack but other than that i just yeah i'm here to build mostly <laughs> how many hours did you do tech overall maybe what 10 15 is that i'd say i guess you uh, did, more... did do a little bit in the start so. i did maybe quite like a decent 50? amount at the start and in the end, I spent quite a lot doing tech, like a lot of hooking machines up and stuff, a lot of hours. I'd say probably like one tenth of my time. I'd say probably close to fifty hours was tech in total. It wasn't like very hardcore tech. Like I wasn't like independently setting up what like, lines and stuff and doing shit myself. Most of the time, it was just like doing stuff that other people needed things done. Like I, I spent a lot of time setting up the EEGs, remember as well. Sorry, the EIGs. Did you the whole like? I mean... I, yeah, a day. I set them all up myself pretty much. No, but there was like heaps of time I spent and then I set up all the processing for it as well. And then there was like all the I did a bunch of breeding crops as well. That counts as tech, right? So that was like I a guess, week yeah. I spent breeding crops. Yeah, follow alarm. yeah no. someone found a how alarm. I spent like a I week. Guess crops, crops yeah, the crops the still count. Game. And still then count after after as well, a week like, almost. Yeah, it was. It was like four or five straight days of me hopping yeah. up for like seven hours a day breeding crops. And that was pain. So I did actually probably, I'd say I probably put close to 50 hours, probably 10% of my time was probably tech, yeah. maybe 15. So I think mine was more like 50 nice. 50. I, I think I did like 500 hours of, of building or so, which I, also did I include tech I think you did as less. well. I think you did a lot more mm. tech. There were periods there where you did. It didn't, depends there because like there was, there it's kind of hard to say once. because I did build while I was doing the tech almost on some areas. Sometimes. So. If you're setting up like a new building, oftentimes you just set up yeah. like the shell of it and then you just spend a whole bunch of time doing tech and I'd come and help out with the building as well. Um, but yeah, no. I AFK'd a lot. No, well, I, that can't be more than 50. Actually, I guess in the early days, uh, that's going to be like maybe 30 or 40 hours of AFK possibly. But overall, I don't I think I AFK that much. I've been pretty diligent at locking off uh, when I leave, especially after the early game. So. Ooh. For the most part, yeah. Create pack next. Used to be... There is no create no. pack that's long enough. <laughs> well, ATM9 is probably the closest because it has Greg Tech in it, but it's also horrendously balanced where you can just like spawn in all the GT materials and you convert RF to EU, so you don't even need to interact with 
he yeah, got yeah, not happening. So there's no pack that would even matter to me that has create. Actually, I am playing right now on my own, playing Dawncraft, which is like really fun, like kind of different change of pace, like, you know, RPG. It's very like, kind of like Souls like kind of almost go around and explore and enemies are quite tough and it's kind of got realistic combat like that's that's fun Sounds it's like horrible. a different break it's like playing <laughs> well i'm not playing it to play like a tech pack i'm playing it as like an exploration rpg game you know like if only there were better games for that well there are path of exile but i'm having a break from that because <laughs> i've played that fucking heaps as well so fortunately path of exile is kind of in the dead point right now because we're like two two months or something into the league and there's still like another month before they announce the next one. So kind of in the, the dead zone right now. Uh, kind of dead. Waiting for more content. So alas, I'm just finding other things to play. Uh, and then Samson and I did some Anno. We did 2205. We'd done 1800. We'd done a bit of 2070. Um, we did Factor We did like most of a Factorio SpaceX run. But then we sort of came back to GTH and then our run got bricked because the most recent update like fucked our entire base. <laughs> the entire way we built. Um Yeah. Satisfactory, I think, is next. I think we've all agreed that Yeah, that, although that they did just announce Satisfactory coming to or are getting released out of early access this year. Which is kind of tempting to wait for. Um Ideally, I would probably want to do a Dyson Sphere program, but unfortunately, the multiplayer mod is still not updated for the latest update, so we can't really do that yet. Yeah, I was playing a little bit of Dyson Sphere program single player. I don't know, I find that game very clunky, kind of annoying to play. I don't know. Like, how fine for me. To do. I don't know. Is there still update 9 for Satisfactory? No. They, I think it was yesterday that they released a video that they will be releasing 1.0 straight uh, or next because they already merged all. Um, all the like the story stuff in the master branch, so they can't really do any smaller oh, nice. updates anymore. Oh, nice! They're not oh. doing update nine. Okay, because I'm talking no. about how they're going to do update nine, but I guess they've changed their plan. That was no. Wait, what? When was that? I think previously to this video, they're talking about how they're going to do an update nine, possibly like in the previous update videos, like about a sort of maybe three months ago or something, four months ago. The once update eight got released, they were talking about how they're going to work on update nine. Um, but they're probably not going to do anything other after update nine, as maybe go straight to one point after that. But I guess they've condensed it down now. But yeah, I mean we can wait, I guess. But I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna, I don't think I'm going to be playing anything for the next six months, so it might be out by that uh, by then, possibly. True. Oh, you can still be playing games. You're not going to be fucking grinding twelve hours a day. Are you sure? What if I will? I know. Mr. Procrastinator, you waited like a whole week to do like this. Look, I've already procrastinated for 13 months. <laughs> I think it's, <laughs> it's already time to do something. I know you. You don't change. <laughs> ah. Master's this is when, oh yes, let's have a master's this is writing streams. It's 10 hours of me <laughs> reading some technical text and trying to condense the information. Let's go. Honestly, <laughs> it would probably motivate you though. On, probably like, yeah be like held accountable you should do it i do have to do some coding for the master season i'm pretty sure so i mean maybe you can do like coding as well they're kind of popular <laughs> ran out of oxygen <laughs> what <laughs> somebody flew oh. to the moon or something okay uh, i guess so <laughs> i guess actually just you guess it's just a space elevator i think to go anywhere yeah you can <laughs> yeah but uh, anyways it's getting pretty late for you i think and also i already had the had the base store kind of as I went through all the buildings. So yep. I didn't really have anything else planned for today. Uh, the server will be open for the next when there are 30 hours still. So there's still time to come visit if you want. Um, but there will also be the roll download afterwards if you couldn't make it this time around or just want to see the thing without like, being grieved to high heaven. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely got grieved. Probably won't be streaming for a while after after this. Don't have anything planned. I do have to get my things started with the thesis. So we'll see when will I return next and what we'll be playing. Uh, it depends on kind of the schedule of my thesis as well. If it ends up, uh, or if it turns out I actually do have time um, on top of the thesis, I might, or we might start the satisfactory or something else. But no promises yet. Uh, I will announce it on my Discord 
um, if I do decide on doing something like more long term. Stream a little Nomi building next week. Uh, we'll see. I kind of was going to actually start doing the thesis like full time next week, starting Monday. Now that I don't have to like think about this world anymore, so it's not um, constantly so we're distracting me. So hopefully I can actually stick with that. We'll see. Honeyla MC. Ah yes, let me just speed run the game in ten minutes and I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> The irony is the actual war record speed run for like the set siege is actually like way lower than that as well. <laughs> it's like <laughs> two minutes or something. Like, yeah. To be fair, that's a fucked up set siege where like the portal spawns fully complete and you spawn like in a like in it already pretty much. Let's see how many people have have we had here already. Oh, great team. A lot of people. Running... There is a. Uh, had like twenty more. One hundred twenty people have is that. I'm just gonna go see the quest log. It might already have filled up completely. <laughs> uh, although the log does continue uh, filling up, it just doesn't display them all. So I kind of have stats afterwards of how many people we had here. The uh, GTH speedrun Discord. Uh, people actually do speedrun. The main categories are speedrunning to Bricked Blast Venice and to Coke Oven. Uh, after that, it's been too kind of like long people to actually speed run. The a, uh, text is glitching out. What the hell? <laughs> a lot of I already, I already quit. Yeah, I'm also gonna quit very soon. Oh, gates open. Ooh. Don't die. <laughs> no, I don't, they kind of close the iris, thankfully. I actually had. I modified the code so so only me and Delano can interact with this uh, target control. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm stuck. Help me, Stargate. I'm stuck. <laughs> Help me, Stepgate. I'm stuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Step Greg. <laughs> Step Greg. No All Dream right. Master XXL visit? How oh, you think Dream Master plays GT and H? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> It's like IV. Yeah. IV, and it's been a decade. And he's still stuck yeah. in IV. <laughs> <laughs> mm, unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm going to head off and probably won't be seeing me for a while. I, I mean, of course, I'll still be permanently online as usual. So you can catch me on the Discord if you have any questions or what have you. But I won't be streaming for yeah. at least. Three months, I would say. Might see after that. But yeah, thanks for following along with the journey. And uh, I think I am the first person on YouTube who actually has a fully documented uh, like New Horizons run from Steam Age to Stargate. So that's kind of cool. There should be a few Pretty more much. very soon. Uh, there's going to be Karaks in the next few months. Actually, I don't know if Patty and Didi have FODs on YouTube, but they're also going to be the first, uh, one of the first, oh, first few to have hey. like, an actual thing. Or what? Hold on, chat. Say yeah. goodbye. And he said congrats. Oh, Pretty I threefold. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Are to you going to come visit as well and see your own logo here? So that's going to be come, my come visit, come visit here last. Still open for the next 24 uh, hours. I was just going to head off though, so he'll have to do it, yeah. do it on his own time. Yeah, yeah, we still have it in the main, yeah. the main tower. We ended up having the targets the elsewhere, so we ended up <laughs> leaving the logo here. <laughs> We'll get the world download yeah that'll be happening in the next yeah it's gonna be uh hours, I'll, yeah i'll think i'll do it on monday most likely i'm just waiting for the reggie and video once the world download comes <laughs> oh yeah that is gonna get <laughs> every single fact wrong i think yeah and he's gonna do it without shaders and it's gonna look like oh shit. yeah he's gonna be like, yeah is this? oh <laughs> no oh, all right that's that's been uh... all the journey thanks everyone for joining us yeah been great that's kind of why, like, in eight months, I had zero followers, and I'm at, like, 1.2k. One, that's more. Yeah. Kind of insane how, like, fast. I, I guess having the Discord for a few years does help, but still, like, on, on, on average Twitch terms, that's, like, huge growth overall. It's kind of insane. Like, I, I had zero influence anywhere for, like, influencer things, if that's a, yeah. what you could call them. So, overall, the interest in the, in the run has been really, really nice to see. More for effort for Regin, Reggie, and he'll just rip off the VODs. True. <laughs> True. He would just copy and paste from the VODs. 
<laughs> oh, did he actually says they were? They are on YouTube. Okay, so they will be. They actually do have yeah. odds. But they're faster than characters yeah. as well, so they'll be next. 24 is the year of uh, Stargate VODs. Let's go. There is when I reach yeah. Stargate. And uh, having streamed it as well. Uh, All right. Let's yeah. raid GRX. He did say he's going to visit this world as well, so we'll see if he does that. But yeah, if you want to catch me or my whatever I'm doing, I might post some things in my Discord. But yeah, unlikely I'll be streaming. But yeah. And. Uh, I guess I'll see you never. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be streaming at some point, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, it won't be GC I much. guess this is farewell for now. Bye, All right. Man. I'll never hear hear from you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never hear Goodbye. the beautiful Australian voice. Yes. Bye.